Uh, yeah. <clears throat> All right. Well, hello and welcome, you guys. Welcome and hello. Today is Thursday, which means that it is vlog day. And yeah, I got a full on action packed vlog for you guys tonight. No timestamps on the screen, but for anybody watching in the replay, those timestamps, courtesy of my main man. He's just my main man, Jeremy V. He's in the chat. He collects all the timestamps from this vlog and he puts them in the first pinned comment right underneath this video. But thank you so much, you guys, for coming. I really appreciate it. I love vlog day. Been looking forward to vlog day all week. It's October, so I'm wearing my chainsaw, you know, because horror movies and Halloween and chainsaw and Leatherface and the such as, and that's, we're going to, we'll see how long this here Dixon lasts, but let me do a quick rundown for you, Jim. We got, uh, we're doing a little bit of what I've been vaping. I definitely have a beer. I have uh, some news and advocacy that's going to be sprinkled in there towards the beginning. I got another big box, you guys, another humongous, but this is a bigger box than the last three or four boxes. I think this is box number five. I'm not 100% sure. I appreciate that, Addy Tooney. I think this is box number five from the closet. Over the last few vlogs, I've been digging out a box from my closet of like, you know, quote unquote, storage mods. And I end up like taking a few out here and there. Like last week, we took out this. We took out the Fuchai and I've just been using it like all week long. And so I'm assuming the same thing's gonna happen, but I got another big box of retro vape stuff. We definitely have a very random liquid tasting. We definitely have a getting to know Grim Green and I definitely have some mail. So whew, yeah, action packed vlog. You know what I don't have? Unbelievable. You know what I don't have? I don't have that thing that's my new favorite thing where I like to hear from one of my subscribers. Yeah, I ju just don't have one. Uh, th there, there could be a couple in my emails. I I'm about eight to nine days behind on all of the emails. So if you have emailed me like in the last, I don't know, 10 days or so, I just haven't got there yet. I just haven't got there yet. But if you want a video of yours, your video to be featured, free airtime on the Grim Green YouTube, you can send me literally anything you want as long as you're a subscriber. I'd love to hear from you. So, and because I don't have a video, I have to do this. Vaping is better than smoking. Technically, yes. But so what? See, we all saw that coming. We 100% we, we all saw that coming. In fact, in lieu of uh, uh, that one thing, that's my new favorite thing where I get to hear from one of my subscribers, I do. there's a few couple favorite comments of the week that I thought a uh, good way here to uh, kick this vlog off, some favorite comments of the week. Yeah, uh, this should be pretty. Oh yeah, that's right. I have to sit up high. So this, this should be pretty good. I, there was just a few, just a, just four, I think, just four favorite comments of the week. Um, person left a comment and said, "Check out the current video on Cuomo's fake weights controversy." Hmm. Now practically the entire fitness industry is hating on him as well. Good, good. I mean, this is only a good thing. The more people that we can get hating on Governor Andrew Cuomo the better. Apparently the entire fitness industry is hating on him as well. Uh, also, it's called the type two RTA because flavor's so good, it'll give you diabetes. Yeah, that's actually not entirely true. But for anybody curious about type two updates, I'll save it. We'll, we'll save it till after this favorite comments of the week. Had another favorite comment of the week here. Sorry. Okay. So this person was giving me a hard time because on Tuesday, bro, Tuesday, we talked a lot about Nia Chrome wire, <laughs> or as I call it, Nia Chrome wire, as normal people call it, Nia Chrome wire. The problem is, I feel like I'm saying it right, but Scott Miller had a little exercise for me here. He says, Grim, read this out loud. Okay. Bill Nye. So far, so good. Google Chrome. I feel like I'm nailing this. Nye Chrome. Nye Chrome. Nichrome, Nichrome. I feel like I'm saying it right every single time. And I think it's just one of those things like, I have a little bit of a stigma now. If people say, oh, Grim Green says Nichrome wrong. So every time I hear it out of his mouth, it sounds wrong to me. I think I'm saying it correctly. It's Nichrome, right? Bill Nye, Google Chrome, Nichrome, 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 Nichrome. 
Am I adding an extra sound in there that I'm not hearing out of my own two ears? Well, I appreciate that, Scott Miller. It was, it was pretty helpful. This one's just super hyper bizarre. In fact, I want to save that one for last because this fella had an update for us on the Oculus. I don't know if Kent is here. <laughs> not the real Gerard Butler. I don't know if Kent is here yet, but uh, Kent, someone had an update on your Ocula RDA. Uh, Richard left a comment and said, an update, I've had mine for a year now and it's still in perfect condition after one year of heavy usage. This is a solid RDA. I love that. I love that he did this. I pinned it to the top of this video. If you guys out there, if you have a product that I've reviewed and, and like I gave it a good review and you bought it and it's still banging for you, go back onto that video and like leave a similar comment. Say, I've had this RTA for two years and it's still banging and I'll pin it to the top because older-ish products like that, you know, whatever. The Ocula is not that old, you guys. Older-ish products like that, like the Ocula maybe, a, a little bit of an update from a regular user of it, not just some reviewer that, you know, you use it for a few weeks and then you do a review on it and then you don't, you know, you don't use it for two more years. I didn't use the Ocula for two years. This guy's got a year-long update. I thought that was very, very cool. And I, I highly encourage this type of behavior on my YouTube channel. Mona Lisa, this comment doesn't make any sense. It, it makes literally, literally zero sense right here. Mona Lisa says, I'm reporting and I'm not going to be threatened and not one thing to hide from you or anyone anymore. I'm being stalked online. And if you need to know, you know now. And someone else is reviewing this and know you're on inside. You must know the gang rapists. What, just like the lesbian stalking us online 17 years X? My last year's salary? That's a lot of revenue. You're keeping too close a tab on me and I'm not your. And that's where it ended. And I don't, I don't know if this person is actually like in any sort of legitimate trouble and this isn't like in a, in a mocking way, but I don't understand. I mean, I understand the words in this comment, but all strung together like this, they, they, <laughs> they kind of make no sense at all. No, no sense at all, Mona Lisa. If I could get some clarification on this situation of being, I guess, stalked online by lesbians. I don't even know. I don't even, I, what, what are you doing, Mona Lisa? What are you, what are you doing, Mona Lisa? So, uh, that's a, just a few of my favorite comments of the week. I go through, I go through occasionally and just, uh, I like to check things out. And I guess the last thing I wanted to mention right now, before we get into any beer, Zach and <laughs> Zach and Daniel two trips, 86. So every, every Thursday, uh, I get all excited for vlog day and I come in here first thing in the office and I'm like, all right, let's start the vlog. Let's start doing this and get this and grim green and pick my thing and do the stuff and, and get all my news and do all the things and get all my vapes and get all the liquids. And like, I enjoy the process of like building this stream. And so I get excited and I do the, uh, I do the thumbnail like really early, really early. Oh, that was you, Michelle. <laughs> Back off, Michelle Lynn. I, do, I put up the thumbnail and I put up the stream really early. And then I just leave the chat open to whoever wants to, uh, whoever wants to come and hang out and be an early bird and just whatever, chat, people chat. And then so I, I step away from my computer to like eat lunch or something. I come back and I see Zach and Daniel Two Trips just carrying on pickles, green peppers, watercress, dill, cause lettuce, <laughs> limes, green beans, pesto. They're just going back and forth. Kale, bok choy, capers, green chilies, green peppers, mint, artichoke. And then Zach's like, wait, do herbs count? Like they're playing some sort of like <laughs> name as many green foods as you can name as many green vegetables as you can. And I came back and it's just a wall of text. Like this keeps going on the top and the bottom of like 
green <laughs> food items, I guess. And then as I'm watching this unfold, I'm like, this is hilarious. Don't let me get in the way. They start, they're like, okay, you know, I think Daniel was like, he's like, okay, red now. Let's do red. Let's do, <laughs> let's do red food. So appreciate you, Zach. Appreciate you, Daniel, two trips, 86 for entertaining yourselves. <laughs> while the stream isn't even on. I appreciate you guys hanging out, just goofing off. You know, people goofing off, that's one of my favorite things just of all time at any point in my life. Like if Casey just walked into my office right now and was like, you want to go goof off? I'd be like, okay, guys, bye. Like, I'm going to go goof off. <laughs> I just love goofing off. I love it, you guys. Appreciate that. That was fucking hilarious. That, uh, that thoroughly cracked me up. So I guess... What is, what is this? Oh, I forgot I have a bumper for that now. Okay, I apologize. So before we get into that, what should I do right? Vaping what? is How better than smoking. I didn't even smoking. press it. It's got a mind of its own now. Technically, it does it. yes. But so oh, what? Dude, shut up, please. Andrew Cuomo, what I want to do right now... I want, it's, I'm already warm. I'm already hot. Taddy's is making, making, <laughs> making trouble in the chat. That's all right. You can ban that person or kick them out or do whatever, you know, rough them up, haze them a little bit, rough them up a little bit. Um, I'll do some super chats after we get to drinking a delicious frosty beverage. That's it. In fact, I'm cutting the beer bumper short. That's how short on time we are tonight. I think we're going to be running long, but what we're going to be tasting tonight. So if Kevin's here, Kevin K is here. I said, I thought we were doing a Kevin K beer. Unfortunately, we're not. We're doing a real Jim Shady beer. In fact, I don't even know if real Jim Shady's here tonight, but that's okay because we have a Stoneyard Brewing chocolate almond custard stout. Chocolate almond custard stout. Uh, I'm really very excited about this. It's only 6.5%, you know, 6.5% alcohol. So it's no big deal. It's whatever. Usually high ABV beers make the vlog better. Fire made it good. Usually high ABV beers make the vlog better, but uh, a 6.5 will be just fine. Going with the trusty New York Jets cup. I always feel like I have a better vlog when I, when I drink beer out of the, uh, out of the out of the family New York Jets cup. Go Jets. You know, or not, I don't know. I don't watch football. Is football even on? I think I've seen some football happening. I've definitely watched football like this year. Did the, how the Jets do? The Jets do any good? Did the Jets do any good? Well, they should have done much better because I'm promoting them free of charge. <laughs> it's free of charge in the vlog. So I'm just going to have a taste here of the Stoneyard Brewing Chocolate Almond Custard Stout. Cheers, you guys. Thanks for coming out. Appreciate you being here. Hope you got something delicious next to you. Yeah, holy crap, Jim Shady. That's uh, that's incredible. It's even a little bit more effervescent than I was expecting it to be. Usually stouts, especially a chocolate almond custard stout. I expected it to be real hyper thick in the mouth. Like they never have a lot of carbonation or effervescence to them. This one's kind of crispy. It's kind of crisp, crispily and crispily. Yeah, crispy and barbely, barbely, bubbly. Ruff McGruff says the Jets are kind of sucking. All right, well, we just need to cheer harder for the Jets cheer harder for the Jets. I don't know. Here's the thing. I have no sports team affiliations other than the LA Dodgers. And even then, I don't watch LA Dodgers games. I'm a fan of the LA Dodgers because I went to one game and bought an LA Dodgers hat. And I'm like, I'm an LA, you know, whatever, citizen now. That's like my rite of passage. I went to a game, bought a hat, ate Dodger dogs, cheered for the Dodgers, booed for whoever we were fighting at the time. And that's my, you know, that's my, I got my LA card stamped. There was a guy there at the exit wearing like long socks and a button up flannel. And he's like, yeah, bro. And just stamped me. And then he rode away on like a longboard up a freeway. It was crazy. So I don't have any sports affiliation. So if you want me to cheer for your team, I will. Seahawks, dude, I'll cheer for the Seahawks, Ranger Vapes. I cheered for the Seahawks Almost the entire time I worked at Starbucks because Starbucks is a Seattle company 
And when you work in the manufacturing plant, when you work in roasting and you work in the tasting room, everybody around you is Seahawks fans. So you can't not root for the Seahawks. You're a Raiders fan, Ruff McGruff? That's okay. I'm a, I married into a Jets family, so I'm a Jets fan. Uh, this is delicious. Chocolatey. I guess I don't, I don't get a lot of almond, but like what kind of flavor is, is almond, like a nutty sort of dry astringent flavor. It's, it's really creamy. I think that's where this like custard component is coming from, but it's upfront, very stouty. <laughs> okay. That was gross. Like, look, gr- that, okay. That was too much chocolatey, almondy, custardy. It's very chocolatey, sweet up front. It's honestly a pretty clean finish for a stout. It's freaking delicious, Jim Shady. Freaking delicious. Wow, I really like that. I think that the perfect, I have two ideas of what I can pair with this. One of them is going to be butter number four, you know, from that, uh, from that uh, super good butter number four. This is chocolate cookie, sweet cream, ice, sweet. Sorry, I got a little bit ahead of myself there. Chocolate cookie, sweet cereal, ice cream, fucking milk. I think that is going to pair really well with this. Yeah, that's incredible. I mean, that's unbelievable. That's an that's a great pairing. The chocolate in this with the chocolate of the stout. That is banging, bang in. Do you guys do vape beer pairings at home or, or are you normal? Am I the only one that does these? Maybe Bogan, like Bogan does them too, right? Great. It custard. Um, so the other one I wanted to try was oat drips. I don't know, oat drips. It's a really hard flavor to describe. I, but I kind of feel like it would go well with this uh, with this brew here. Yeah, yeah. it's not bad. It's not bad. Uh, not as good as the butter number four. Dang. All right. Well, since I'm already halfway through my beer, good Lord. Just chug, 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 go. Ah, just dump it on my head. No, no. We savor it. We sip it. We savor it, you guys. Yeah. So dang, that's delicious. Well, uh, shit. What I want to do right now real quickly is just going to, uh, you know, I'm going to talk about a couple of things I've been vaping and I've always said in the live vlogs, I don't have a bumper for this. I don't have any sort of like bumper intro or anything for this, but I do. It existed on my hard drive. I completely forgot that it existed. I don't even know who made this for me. I don't, I wish I did. You pair sandwiches with chips, crisps. Look, I do the same thing. Miller man, Chris. I do the same exact thing. Although lately, because of, you know, getting older and having to be healthy and, you know, I want to have a heart that's in good health, uh, I have to eat low sodium bullshit. And so I'm on like these low sodium lays. Like they're okay. But man, I miss like a full salt chip, like a full salty lays. My mouth is watering right now. Just thinking about a full salty lays. That's fine. It's whatever. You know what? You got you got a you, harm reduction, right? Instead of eating full salty lays, I eat like a fraction of the salty lays. There's still a little bit of salt, kind of like how there's still nicotine and vapor products. Harm reduction, right? Harm reduction. Actually, you know what? Before we get to, uh, actually, no, I, I'm changing it again. We're gonna do what I've been vaping. If you sent this intro to me or you know who sent this intro, maybe you remember because everybody has a better memory than me. Let me know so I can give you proper credit, but I wanna talk about a few things I've been vaping, okay? What I've been vaping. Yeah, yeah, didn't even, didn't even remember that that existed. Didn't even remember that that existed, but shout out to whoever sent that to me. It was, it was like two, three years ago, 2016 maybe is when I got that. Don't even remember. Don't, don't even remember. Pippa's live. Don't worry. I hope you stick around. I'm going to be talking about you later. I'm going to be talking about that documentary a little bit later. Do you mind if I show the trailer on this stream right now? I was trying to reach out to you to get permission to do that Pippa's live. Just give me a thumbs up or a thumbs down. Let me know. 
few things I've been vaping. That stacked tube mech that we opened last week, yeah. It's uh, it's here. It's a dual stacked 21700 with a recoil Rebel on top. A little bit of the butter number two inside of it. I think we set this up. When did we? When did I set this up? Was that Wednesday? Was it Wednesday on the Instagram stream that we set this up? I I don't remember. I haven't had series in a really long time, and I forgot how spectacular it is. Holy shit. I, I love it. I love the warmth. I love the crackle. I really like the airflow on this full open recoil. I use some AJ Holland high ohm aliens in here and it's just uh, so, uh, so good. I just want to keep vaping it. I've ran into a couple weird things with this. Like with the switch, if I, if I fasten the switch down too much, just doesn't fire. See? No firing action, but if I back the switch off like a turn and a half, suddenly it fires like crazy. I don't know if that's like a uh, safety feature or something built into that, but uh, that's the only wonky thing I've been having with that. Now, we're talking about pleasure vapes. These are vapes that I have set up purely for my own vaping pleasure. I do have a Cali Burn, and even though it's up for review, that en Endura M18 from Inokin, uh, I was shocked by how well this vape, shocked by how well the mouth to lung is on this. How well it is? I guess how good it is. Mm. Holy crap. That's spectacular. I got a Cali Burn G. I got my uh, Pioneer on top of the Hass Tour with uh, Turkish tobacco from Halo on the inside. That's been basically a daily banger. Uh, this has moved from the it needs to be reviewed category to the I'm just vaping it for pleasure now because I love it so much, but it's that Hitta Inc. I was a big fan of the original Hitta. If you watched my review, I said it about 8,000 times in that video because I don't know how to not repeat myself. Hanging out with that Hitta Inc. six milligram mango on the inside. Vaporesso Lux. We got this out of a box last week and I set it up and it's just, I just keep using it. Just keep using it. The rye RDA is on top. That cranberry e-liquid from uh, a few days ago. From a what was that last week that we did the cranberry? Uh, cranberry. She said yes. Okay, she said yes. All right, I'm gonna play that trailer when we get to the news and advocacy stuff. Uh, Pippa, thank you for being here. Pippa's live. I've just been vaping it. Rye RDA 1.2. It's kind of been amazing. I kind of forgot how awesome the Vaporesso Lux is. Yeah, that's uh, that's beyond spectacular. Of course, I have my three billet boxes, and that's going to round out the pleasure vaping. I got Golden Boy with a Haku Zeta on the inside. Pony on Acid is in there. I got uh, Bluegrass right here with those uh, honeycomb doors. I got an Evil Alien and some Black Panther tobacco in there, unfortunately named Black Panther tobacco. And then lastly, I got Harold here. And what's inside Harold? What's inside Harold, you ask? Well, that's the Mr. Just Right One Signature tri signature Tips Truss Bridge on the inside. I had a big, long, hour-long build stream on Monday where I, I mean, re <laughs> oh. it was set, really struggled through building this. It took an hour. It took me an hour to do this. Maybe, you know, granted, if the camera wasn't on, I wasn't streaming, might have been like a half an hour. Still took me an hour to get done, but I still have Cubano on the inside. It's been re-wicked since then. It's great. It's great. Yeah, the Cubano's good. It really is a it is a flavor banger and a half. So what's on my desk that's up for review? Well, I got a fours here, but the only real reason that this fours is on my desk. I don't love it. I gave it a review and I'm like, it's whatever. Like it, I expected more from Vaporesso. I like the Axum chip V2 and that's kind of it. I kind of like the tank. It's just here. I've just here. In fact, you're going to no man's land right now. That's all. It's off the desk, off the desk. But this from Vaporesso, the X iron or people are calling it the Xyron. This is a banger. This is a really, I mean, like on par with the with the Hitta and the Hitta Inc. As far as like a restricted lung coil head based vape. Stellar, stellar. Stellar, That that's a wonderful vape. 
I got this thing as well. This is the VX. I'll never remember the name of it ever. VX. What is it? Yeah. VX217. Ugh. Aug Vapes VX217. Uh, I think Mike Vapes had something to do with this because his name is on the sub tank, but I opened up the mini gra- minivan green version of this. It's kind of cool. I mean, look, it's kind of cool. I'm going to spend some time with it. Probably we'll get a review at some point, but it's been kind of cool. Oat drips on the inside. So the tank is wonky. The tank, the sub tank is wonky, but I'll get there when I do a full review. And then lastly, sitting on my desk, awaiting a review. The, this is from Lost Vape. It's called the the, the Thelema, Telema, Telema. Who knows? But it's kind of slick. It's got this like vinyl, squishy, geek vapey looking thing on the side. It's got that same great screen that, uh, you know, Lost Vape does. It's a pod based like mod pod. So your tank is in here. 60 watts. I have a burst backo bold on the inside of this. Uh, it's been vaping, I mean, shockingly good, surprisingly good. Good. We've got the airflow restricted down just a little bit. So any one of those items from the review, you know, what's on my desk to be reviewed will will be reviewed eventually at some point. And, and, you know, there's some times where I just get so frustrated with everything on my desk that I just end up banishing everything to no man's land. I'm like, nothing. Nothing's on the desk right now. And I pick one thing. I'm like, pioneer. That's it. Like, <laughs> that's, <laughs> that's the only thing that gets to live on the desk right now. Sometimes, sometimes it happens. All right, you guys, now what we're going to do. So that's what I've been vaping, really, more or less. I used to put links to everything down in the description that such is not the case anymore. Such is not the case anymore. But what I want to do right now is I've seen a few popping in. Let's do a couple super chats. I want to read them. That's all you get. In fact, I feel like it's not like a normal thing for hosts, like, for streamers to read all their super chats. I was watching someone soup, someone stream recently. Some like a non vape person. Who was it? Can't even recall off the top of my head. Can't even recall off the top of my head, but they had like, you know, they were firmly into the 100,000, you know, subscriber range. I was there with like six or 700 people watching and the super chats just kept, kept coming in and, and, and nobody read any super chats. And I thought, that's kind of that's kind of like a dick move. Like if someone pay if someone pays money for you to see a message, the least you could do, I feel like, is just read their message. Not the real Gerard Butler Crocs update. Andy wants to know. Listen, Gerard Butler, those Crocs are clutch, clutch Crocs. They're they're stupidly comfortable. They're they're easy to slip on and off. It's like a foot massage every time I walk in them. They came in clutch. The other night, well, maybe I won't tell this story. They came in clutch the other night. I'll save that story for the po- for the dogs barking in the distance podcast, but they came in clutch the other night, not the real Gerard Butler. Uh, Vape and case. Ha ha, Bill Nye Chrome. Bill Nye Chrome. Bill Nye Chrome. Get it? Vape and case. Appreciate that. Lean back, vapes. That's very gracious of you. Thanks for all you do. Been watching you for two years now, and I'm smarter from it. Dude, hell yeah, lean back vapes. Lean back, bro. That's awesome. I mean, thank you for watching. I that to, that's awesome. I love it. Thank you for watching for 2 years and I I'm, I'm glad that I was able to like get some information to you. That's all I've ever been about all over this YouTube is just here's some information, you know? Here's some information because when I started this YouTube, bro, there wasn't anybody on YouTube. There was no vape YouTubers, zero. This many vape YouTubers when I started and I wanted information myself. And so I would go on the internet and Google like, what's a RN4086 cartomizer? Nobody knows? All right, I don't know then, you know? So I, I just wanted to be that guy that when you searched, it came up and said, this, this is an RN4081 cartomizer, you know? I just wanted to help out. Appreciate you, Lean Back Vapes. Jake Scrapwood, maybe it's an accent thing. Here in the Midwest, wash comes out warsh. Yep, true facts. I've, I've known many people in my life out there from the Midwest that have said warsh, warsh. 
Uh, Chris 10, very gracious of you. I'm a new patron. Woohoo, yo, yo. Been smoke free for six years, and I found you way back in the day of the Vision Spinner Ego days. Whoa. Thank you very much for helping navigate the world of vaping. You are the best. I try my best. You know, Kristen, thank you. Thank you for joining up with the Patreon. You get access You get access to so much stuff. And like, look, the, the Patreon gets capped out. So I, it's not like if I pimp it out, you, you, I, you know, I can suddenly get more money. Like there's going to be a flood of people to my Patreon. I cap out my Patreon, you know, I keep that shit exclusive. Welcome to the Discord. Welcome to the Instagram streams. Welcome to all the new podcasts that you get, Kristen. I really appreciate the support, and and I hope I do you hope I do you proud. Real Jim Shady, but did you let it warm? Glad you like it, man. Here's the thing: I did let it warm. I didn't let it warm completely. I went out to my fridge a little after four, and so we did it at about what was that? Like four forty-five. So it sat and warmed for about a half hour. I'll let it sit on my desk a little bit, Jim Shady. I know that was your uh, that was your big pro tip. It's delicious, Jim Shady. Wired talk with Big G. Yo, yo, so why the bordering on insulting Scottish accent? If it was if if it was anyone but you doing it, I would be insulted. No, no, you wouldn't be insulted. Come on, I'm trying my best here. And it's not in a derogatory bray, bro. I'm Scottish. I belong to Clan Buchanan. Yeah. You know Clan Buchanan? We have the ugliest tartan in the in the Scottish realm. I belong to that clan. My family lineage goes back to Scotland. I'm not saying that that makes it okay that I do a horrible Scottish accent, but I I've, I, picked it up because we used to go to Scottish Highland games all the time. And all you do is walk around and you hear people speaking with that Scottish brogue. So I can say custard, custard stout. I feel like that's pretty spot on. Like I feel like I sound exactly like Vic there. Appreciate you being here, Wired Talk with Big G. Southern Comfort, I pair chips with dip and hot tr- and hot trim Netflix and, ch- and chill. You, yeah, that's it. Perfect. 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 You like French onion dip? You like a good French onion dip? Because French onion dip rules Southern Comfort. Uh-oh, it's Gabe Claus. You're out your face. Just for, hashtag just for G. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that means. Maybe it's some sort of inside joke. Maybe, oh, just for Gabe. Oh, your your face. Hashtag just for G. That's just for Gabe Claus. You guys know Gabe Claus? Thomas Crow's Clan Campbell. See, you guys have a cool tartan. You guys have a cool tartan. Buchanan has ugly tartans and an ugly hunting tartan as well. Like usually you can rely on the hunting tartan to be like the cooler of the two. No. In Buchanan's case, it's like they're all ugly as shit. I would love to get a Clan Buchanan Tartan uh, Dixon. Maybe I could convince him to do that. Daniel Two Chips eighty with six, <laughs> dude. Next week, food with weird names. I'll start. Rambutan, Rambutan. Look, Daniel, that sounds made up. Is that made up? That sounds made up. Joshua, that's very gracious of you. Uh, thank you for helping me get into the BB rabbit hole. Yeah, Josh. Welcome to the billet box rabbit hole. Have you got a uh, have you got a truss yet? Because it's pretty rad. Uh, with your help, Grim, appreciate you, Joshua. Uh, Chip, that's that's very gracious of you. With your help, Grim, I finally converted my mom from a two pack a day smoker to a Caliburn G user. She's not savvy with tech, so I needed something easy. Huge shout out to my mom, Alice. Fuck yeah, Alice. This whole vlog is dedicated to Alice for switching from those deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes over to the wonderful Cali Burn G. In fact, I'll have a I'll have a toot here on Rosie Brown just for your just for your mom. If she wants some really good e-liquid for it, get some 12 milligram Blueberry Hill from Deep Cuts. You you thank me later. Just put it in the Cali Burn G 12 milligram. It's amazing. It's amazing. Still get a little condensation sometimes, just here and there. I feel a little bit of slurp. As soon as you flick it out of the tip, it's gone. <laughs> flick it out of the tip. Southern Comfort, cover her an Irish onion dip. Fuck yeah, passion fruit dip, ya yeah, baby. Passion fruit dip? Passion fruit dip? Southern Comfort, that doesn't make any sense to me, passion fruit dip. I don't know what you, what on earth you would dip in passion fruit dip. That's That's insane to me, bro. That's insane to me. So um, what I'm going to do right now is strip. 
I'm just kidding. The flannel has to pop off. You know, it's been so cold here in Southern California. And when I say cold, I mean like Southern California cold. Like it's 60. I got up the other day and it was like 60 degrees in the house and I'm wearing a hoodie and I'm like freezing my ass off. You know, the other morning when I got up, it was like 45 degrees outside, outside. That's cold. I don't care if you're from Minnesota or the Dakotas. That's still pretty cold. 40, 45 degrees. That's cold. And don't tell me it's not cold because it is cold. But now that I have like all of this rage sweat happening. Huh, all right. Maybe it's the beer. Maybe the beer's making me sweaty. Cheers. So uh, what I want to do right now is I want to blast through. I got some pretty interesting news this week. We're going to blast through some news and advocacy. Yeah. News and advocacy. Yeah. Yeah. News and now because. Um, so. So what? Look, sh- stop. Cuomo, what the, what the hell's your problem? I want to do some news and advocacy. So what? Well, because I want people to, 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 to vape instead of smoke. And I want those vapors to be armed with the information that they need to fight your stupid war. Okay. So what? So the first thing that I want to mention right out of the gate here, you know what's coming. I know what's coming. It's that Veritas cohort study, you guys. If you can be a part of this, please be a part of this. I'll post a link down in the description below. But this is reserved for uh, vapors that are current vapors that have been, uh, that have less than 1,000 cigarettes smoked total. Total. It's about 50 packs. So if you smoked about 50 packs and then you started vaping, you can be a part of this study. It would be fantastic. I, I, I really believe in this study and I'd like to get enough people to do it. I'm not part of it. I, I don't have anything to do with it. I'm just trying to help them out as much as I can, Veritas Cohort Study. We got something coming up, you guys. November 20th. Mark your, mark your date. Mark your what? Mark your calendars. November 20th. <sighs> It's the big worldwide premiere. If you don't know nicotine, available worldwide November 20th. You can pre-order your your uh, your launch day rental or whatever. It's like 16, 17 bucks, something like that. It's going to be completely worth it. This is going to be like a society changing movie. I believe it's going to be that powerful of a movie. I have only seen the trailer. I've only seen the trailer. That's it. I'm familiar with Aaron and the billion lives and the trailer. And that's as far, like that's all the background inside information that I have on this. I think it's going to be fantastic. I've ordered mine and I hope you've ordered yours. I hope you have get on it, share it, have a viewing party, have a socially distanced viewing party. And thank you, Addy Tooney for adding those, uh, adding those links to the chat. Hmm. So as we move forward here into uh, into news and advocacy, there's a few calls to actions from CASA. We've gone over these like a thousand times, but there's still calls to action. We're protecting vape mail. This is rejecting S-1253. This hasn't been voted on. In fact, I just was reading something recently about Mitch McConnell, and they are just going into recess until the end of November. So, you know, hey, it's whatever. You know, it's like, does the government... Uh, care or have any motivation to be fast and efficient or, or give a shit, you know, there's money. It's just, it's just not for you. Uh, and they want it all for themselves and they, they want to, they want to ban vape mail. This is a big bipartisan bill. This was written up by, uh, I just like to rub this into Southern comfort's face a little bit. Republican John Corrin out of Texas authored this, wrote the vape mail ban bill. Republican Senator John Corrin, kind of crazy. Republican uh, Governor Charlie Baker up there in Massachusetts. Hey, they were one of the first in the union to ban flavors. So vaping is not a partisan issue. Uh, So I'll have a link in the description to that. Protect your vape mail. Uh, There is also Oregon, no on measure 108. This is a this is a ballot initiative in Oregon. Everybody should be voting no on this. If this passes, like I always say, it's going to bring Oregon into the elite ranks of states like California, you know, uh, Ohio, New York, New Jersey, Massachusetts, where vaping is actually more expensive than smoking. In fact, 
Uh, I have a, I want to expand on this just a little bit because one of my most favorite people on earth, Jacob Greer, he wrote a piece for uh, the Oregonian. Was this the Oregonian? Yeah, the Oregonian. Jacob Greer is the author of this book, Tobacco, Vaping, Smoking, and the Creative Destruction of the Cigarette. And, you know, look, I'm not trying to brag or anything, but he definitely signed the inside of it. Yeah, that's a signed copy by Jacob Greer. Haven't read it. Haven't, uh, Haven't read it. Should I read some of it? Should I read some of it in a Scottish accent? Should I read some of it in a British accent? In the late 1980s, the United States began extinguishing smoking on airplanes. Smoking or non became a standard question at restaurants, then disappeared when outright bans took the smoking option off the table altogether. I'm looking forward to reading this book. It's been in my to-do list for a while, but he penned this. He's a freelance writer from Portland, Oregon. He covers all sorts of tobacco and tobacco control, uh, you know, issues and the such as, and the big headline on it is, uh, yeah, Measure 108's vaping tax, neither smart nor humane. Yeah, uh, definitely not humane. Um, Starts off, and like I said, obviously I'm not going to read this whole thing, but it starts off and it says, if there were a measure on the Oregon ballot to raise taxes on product that helped people quit smoking, such as nicotine patches and gums, there would be no doubt that this would be bad for public health. Oregon's Measure 108, which would impose substantial new taxes on vaping products, is misguided for precisely the same reason. By raising the cost of the most effective smoking cessation devices ever invented, it will unintentionally perpetuate cigarette smoking. And yeah, this is what we've seen already in states that have passed Things like flavor bans or like in San Francisco where they just kind of straight up banned vaping. Did it affect youth vaping? No. Did it affect smoking? Yeah. Way more people started smoking. Like cigarette sales picked up in San Francisco. It's, I mean, it's kind of incredible. He goes on to talk about the, uh, the most recent scientific review from the Cochrane Group, which... I, I was not familiar with the Cochrane Group. I don't know if anybody here is familiar with the Cochrane Group. If you're not, I believe next Tuesday, Danielle and I are going to be going all over this Cochrane Group report uh, comparing, you know, vaping uh, e-cigarettes as a smoking cessation. It's not a real shock, that the conclusions that they came to. But we're going to talk about it. And this Cochrane Scientific Review is a big deal. Like I said, I'm not going to read this whole thing. But he touches on that Cochrane, uh, the Cochrane Scientific Review a little bit. He goes on to say alarmist, uh, nope. He goes on to say alarmist scare stories have created a misperception that vaping is as dangerous as smoking. But this belief is damagingly false. Research published in 2018 in the academic journal Tobacco Control projects that widespread replacement of cigarettes with e-cigarettes could prevent between 1.6 million and 6.6 million premature deaths in the United States before the end of the century. 6.6 million premature deaths just from this, just from literally Caliburn G. You could give a Caliburn G to every smoker, save lives instantly. Look, it's not going to work for everybody, but for those that it works for, uh, yeah, it's going to be uh, it's going to be fantastic. It's going to be life changing. He goes on to talk a little bit about uh, the economic impact of this. He talks about Minnesota and how Minnesota has a similar, really hyper aggressive tax on vapor products. And the Economist uh, in Minnesota, which Minnesota, hi Senator Ron Johnson. Remember when uh, vapors got you Republican Senator Ron Johnson reelected and then you shot that video on election night when you were winning and everyone's cheering around you and you said, uh, I couldn't have done this without you. Thank you to the vapors. I will be in your corner. Like you remember that there was a video of this. I just don't have it anymore. Senator Ron Johnson in Minnesota, his states has one of the highest taxed vapor product states in the Republic. And the economist in Minnesota has estimated that this tax has deterred more than 30,000 Minnesotan adults from quitting smoking. 
30,000 smokers in Minnesota didn't quit because of the high taxes. Does that make any sense? Does it seem like public health is at the forefront of, you know, what they're trying to accomplish? Does it? Not really. He warns that Oregon will probably be, you know, make the same mistake. He talks about the economic impact of this as well. He talks about the youth issue of this as well. And within like one paragraph, he just destroys the youth, you know, vaping epidemic argument. It's kind of unbelievable. He goes on to say, uh, supporters of 108 have carried out a misleading fear-driven campaign that stigmatizes nicotine use and pushes an abstinence-only agenda. We should not expect this to work any better for nicotine than it has for sex, alcohol, or other drugs. The underreported truth is that harm reduction has tremendous potential to save the lives of smokers, that both young and that both youth and adult smoking rates are falling to the lowest levels in modern history and that products like e-cigarettes are helping to make deadly conventional cigarettes obsolete. <sighs> Jacob, he's just got away with words. I've read this article at least 50 times today and it just makes me really excited to uh, actually crack into and read that book. He wraps this up by saying, in short, Measure 108 would impose a punitive tax on low-income smokers at a time when they can least afford it, while simultaneously penalizing them for attempting to switch to a much safer alternative that could save their lives. It is neither smart nor humane, and Oregonians should vote against it. Hell yeah. So if you're in Oregon, if you're an Oregonian vapor, if you know anybody in the Oregonian area, please measure 108. Vote no. Please. <laughs> please vote no on measure 108. You guys want to hydrate real quick? All right. Oh, I love water. I'm glad that I love water so much. It makes it easy to stay hydrated. Hydro homies. Yeah. Yeah, hydro homies. Yeah, hydro homies. All right, so uh, let's see. Moving on from there, what are we looking at right here? Colorado, this is still uh, same thing. Ballot initiative in Colorado. We're voting no on Prop EE. Much like, I mean, you could take almost everything that Jacob Greer said about Oregon and how this, this inhumane tax of like punishing people Punishing people for, for wanting to move to a less harmful alternative. Could you, ima could you imagine that if we like, like we charged a tax for people when they put on their seatbelts, but no tax if they didn't put on their seatbelts? That's crazy to me. That is bananas. And well, same thing's happening in Colorado. We're trying to vote no on Prop EE. Vote no on Prop EE in, Cal or in uh, Colorado. Um, I'm going to throw this up here, but I don't think it's an active call to action anymore. And I'm just waiting to hear any sort of resolution or follow up to this. There was another Michigan flavor ban uh, on the books. There was an active CASA call to action for it, but I think that they, they stopped taking comments on October 23rd. So I think at this point in Oregon, it's just wait and see, wait and see what, uh, what, what what comrade Whitmer Whitmer does uh she hates vaping not so i mean she does but not so much her is the state of michigan's budget the state of michigan's financial situation hates vaping uh someone recently just pointed this out to me i don't know exactly who it was might have been gardner charles gardner not 100% sure but it's real, I mean, it's real transparent. When you look at the top states with the deepest MSA debt, the deepest MSA debt, those same top states, do we need to do the list? California, New York, New Jersey, Michigan, Massachusetts, Ohio. Those are all of the states that are the hardest on vaping. Those are all of the states, the ones that are in the deepest MSA debt, those are the states that are 
flavor bans and taxes and then more flavor bans and then more taxes and Colorado and Michigan wants a permanent flavor ban on the books and Colorado wants this like gradually rising tax on vapor products so that it'll be like, you know, 65% sales tax by the year 2029 or something like this. It's, it's insane. It's insane. And they're doing this because they owe money. They owe money on tobacco bonds and damn it, they're going to repay those tobacco bonds. Look, like I said, California, we need the money and we're willing to do literally anything to get it. 20% in New York. That's, I mean, that's, that's unbelievable to me. Unbelievable to me. Here's the thing. All of this stuff, all of this legislation, all of these flavor bans, all of this moral grandstanding, people like Aaron Mills and Pave and you know these anti-vaping groups and Bloomberg, it's all going to age very, very poorly. And my only goal in life is to be there later on when we all realize what a shit bag Bloomberg was for trying to ban vapes and what terrible people PAVE was for trying to keep adults from using less harmful vapor products and what a terrible person Governor Gretchen Whitmer and Charlie Baker and Gavin Newsom and all of these politicians, Raja Krishnamurthy standing in the way of vaping, I want to be there. I want to be there on the other side. I can't wait. God, that's all I'm thinking about. Uh, and people like Greg Conley keep me going. I just wanted to share this. <laughs> I just wanted to share this real quickly because he tweeted it out. This is Greg Conley from uh, uh, the American Vaping Association. He's the president of the American Vaping Association. I'm sure we're familiar with Greg Conley. I, you know, if, if you're on Twitter, you probably follow him. He was at that White House meeting. He's been on, you know, Fox News and MSNBC and CNN, and he's been talking about vaping, you know, back during the Ivali days and things like this, but uh, Greg's a savage. Greg is smart, and Greg is a savage, and I just wanted to share this savage. I can't even think of another way to put it. Savage. (laughs) Is that too like Cardi B if I say savage? Savage. Greg Conley is a savage. Um, So if you remember back in the Ivali times where, uh, you know, there was a lot of flavor bands and stuff rolling out and everyone was concerned about the youth epidemic because not only would it lead youth to tobacco cigarettes, which, you know, the data doesn't show that. And it, you know, we had the lung injuries and things like this happening and it was just vaping and vaping and confusing messaging and Altria took it upon themselves to just pull all of the jewel flavors off of the shelf. You remember this? They pulled all of their flavors off of their shell, off the shelves <laughs> preemptively before any sort of bans or flavor bans because they too they too were so concerned about the youth vaping issue and it was probably because of flavors and Altria you know, being the stand-up company that they are, damn it, we're just going to pull all our flavors off the shelves. Well, here's what Greg had to say about that. Greg Conley, president of the American Vaping Association, expressed disappointment with Altria's willingness to take a self-regulating step with a legal product. If Altria believes that it should stop selling flavors until the youth issue is addressed, maybe they should stop selling cigarettes until the death problem is solved. Pow. Savage, Greg Connolly. Savage. I love that. That's my favorite. If Ultria believes it should stop selling flavors until the youth issue is addressed, maybe they should stop selling cigarettes until the death problem is solved. Greg, Greg, damn it, Connolly. You're, you're just one of my heroes of all time. You're just one of my heroes of all time. Wait, is... uh. Southern Comfort's here. I know Southern Comfort is here. This is literally just for Southern Comfort. I want to show you this. You know, Southern Comfort, when he does Super Chats, he always shouts out, uh, what is it, Greg, Doug from from Stellar Vapor in, in Lutz, Florida. Doug from Stellar Vapor in Lutz, Florida. Well, look what I found. I found Southern Comfort's shop. Look at this. Yeah, that's that's Stellar Vapor. That's Doug. That might be Doug right there. And it's the whole shot. In fact, watch this. This is the coolest shit ever. Ready? 
right into the shop. That's the shop. You can see what they have. Look, a bunch of CBD stuff. What is that? Koi, Koi CBD, Stellar Vapor and Lutz, Florida, like discount e-liquid. What is that? Hand sanitizer right there maybe. Can you walk over here? <gasps> you can. Oh, but he's gone now. This is a cool shop. This is a cool shop. Let's go over here. Let's watch TV. Whoop. Oh, we could sit on this couch. We could vape. Hang out. Whoop. What does it say here? Hello, new stellar family. We may not have what you are used to, especially if you're... Okay, I'm not going to read that whole thing. Anyway, I just... I, this was literally... I found this literally just for Southern Comfort. <laughs> Is that you, Southern Comfort? Is that you? Is that you right there in the hat? No, that's not you. That's not you. I know what you look like. Anyway, that was for uh, Southern Comfort there. Um, let's see. Two more things I wanted to touch on in this news and advocacy segment before we run all too long here. Um, up in smoke. Oh, up in smoke. This is a Pippa's live made. I believe it's her documentary. It's Pippa's documentary uh, about smoking and vaping in Australia. This is premiering in uh, in eight hours. It's going to be 2 a.m. my time. So it's premiering, obviously, in Australia on the other hemisphere, on the other side of the earth. So I'm not going to be up at 2 a.m. to watch this. Shit, should I stay up tonight and just watch this? Should I just watch this? I can't stay up that late. That's way past my bedtime. But there is a documentary coming out. It's coming out in eight hours. I'm going to post a link here. I'm just going to post a link. Uh, I'm sure Addy Tooney is going to be faster than me at this. Boosh. There's the link in the chat. I'm going to post the link down in the description as well. But uh, this is a documentary, like I said, about smoking and vaping in Australia. So I, with Pippa's, with Pippa Live's permission, I would like to share this trailer. Uh, I could have muted my mic before I did that but I didn't hear it. Let me show you the trailer. It's a real quick little trailer. Uh, get you guys all amped up. Free. Look, this is free. This is Pippa Star, Pippa's Live, hard work, all coming together uh, out of the kindness of their own heart. They made this, uh, they made this documentary. So let, let's just watch it real quick. The health department's against you. The TGA's against you. The health minister's against you. Why would anyone oppose this? It's illogical, it's illiberal, and it's going to condemn thousands of smokers to premature death. The politicians rely on votes, and if they won't move, you know, due to reason or logic, they'll definitely move if they think they're going to lose their seat. That we are doing the right thing and that their voice is heard. It's clearly not an on-ramp, and the Australian government's own evidence it's not an on-ramp. E-cigarettes are a gateway to get off smokes, not to get hooked on Yes. Yes, Pippa's live. I'm excited for this. I'm excited to see this. Uh, Colin Mendelson. I saw, I saw Colin Mendelson in there. Who else is in there? Othra, Legalized Vaping Australia. Yeah. Yeah. It's a, it's a big to do. Uh, and this is, I, I'm excited for this. I'm excited for this. I'll have a link down in the description. I want to, I want to watch it. Uh, I'm going to watch it. I mean, literally, can I watch, is this going to be up on replay, Pippa? Can I watch this, uh, tomorrow? Can I watch this tomorrow on my Friday? Like, can I watch it tomorrow? Or do I have to wake up at 2 a.m. to watch it? Do I have to wake up to 2 a.m. at watch it? Alex Wodak is in it. Hamish Bogan is in it. Bogan's in it. All right. Well, I'm sold. I'm sold. I'm sold. Bogan's in it. I'm sold. But thank you. Uh, thank you, Pippus Live, for putting this together. I appreciate I saw you being here tonight. I really appreciate that. I hope you get a huge turnout for this documentary, I'll, if there's a replay, I'll, I'll definitely be watching on the replay. 100% be watching on the replay. But uh, one last thing that I wanted to talk about. One last thing that I wanted to talk about, uh, and it's gonna be science stuff. Science! I've been trying to share as much science as possible because what I end up sharing a lot on Tuesday Bro Tuesday and in the vlog is a lot of like news, right? News articles, opinion pieces, tweets, 
quotes from people like Greg Connolly, but I'm trying to share more and more like boring science papers, which means Nick Guy the Science Man. We are going to be talking about this science paper that I just ran across. And this is one of those things that I, this is something that I've personally noticed. It's just nice to see it recognized in a little bit more of a uh, of a scientific format, I guess. And the and the headline on this paper here is a comparison of product dependence among cigarette only, ends only, and dual users. Findings from wave three of this path study over the course of a year. So this basically says, I'm, I'm gonna summarize this for you just again, so we don't run long. I don't wanna run long, I hate running long. Little is known about the differences in tobacco product dependence among people who use two tobacco products versus one. Mm -hmm. Self-reported product dependence among individuals using cigarettes only, electronic nicotine delivery systems or ENDS. Don't know why they just can't call them e-cigs or vapes or everything. You know, it's the government. So, you know, we got to call it the electron, the personal electronic nicotine inhalation system. Uh, and both cigarettes and ends dual users was compared. So they compared dependency, nicotine dependence of people who just smoke, people who just vape, and then dual users, people who do both. Right? Clear right now? As close as it can be. The conclusions that they came to on this study, and like I could list you off the results, but it's a lot of percentages and numbers and equals and Things that, again, I'm not a scientist. I just pretend to be one. Nick Guy, the science man. Barely a high school graduate, so I'm trying to disseminate this information as best I could. But the conclusion that they came to, and it says, while there was no difference in cigarette dependence between dual and cigarette only users, dual users' electronic cigarette dependence was lower than that for ends only users. Ends appeared to produce less dependence than cigarettes among dual users. Given the high nicotine concentration, ends products that entered the market after this path wave three data was collected, future research should examine electronic cigarette dependence among ends only and dual users. So this is pre saltnik but the conclusion that they came to was that people who vape only are less dependent on nicotine than someone who does both or someone who smokes cigarettes and just going off of my it's again this is my anecdotal evidence of this is yeah i'm way less addicted to vaping than i was to cigarettes when i was working at starbucks uh, at the roasting plant being a coffee roaster you would go like five, six hours at work, you know, in a 12 hour shift and you're just working and listening to music and, you know, goofing off my favorite fucking thing, goofing off. And you know, five or six hours would pass and I'd go, Oh shit. Uh, I guess I'll take a break. I'm gonna take a break. I'm going to go outside and vape. It wasn't like, Oh, I need, you know, I wouldn't be, I'd be storming to my manager. Go, oh, I need to take a cigarette break right now. Someone please go watch my roasters. Take these two eggs so I can go have a cigarette. When I first started vaping, the dependence just, it's not the same. It's different and it's just, it feels different, you know? And again, this is just anecdotal, but the same thing happened. That, like when I first started vaping, I, I had been vaping for about a year. So this is March, 2010, and I had been vaping for a year and I had my first ever as a vapor cross country flight in 2010 and I was, really paranoid, really worried about it. You know, I had, we, we didn't have tanks back then. Tanks didn't exist. You were dripping on little DSE atomizers or trying to use a cartomizer. So what I did is I had to drive to San Francisco. So that's like a four hour drive. So I just pre-filled a bunch of cartomizers and I would just vape through them while I was driving, you know? I vaped through like three or four full cartomizers while in this four hour trip while I was driving. And then I got on the plane, and I was like, all right, well, here we go. No vaping, no nothing until I get to Virginia. Did it fine. Did it perfectly fine. I didn't even think about it. I was just, whatever, sitting in, listening to podcasts, chilling. I wasn't thinking about vaping or like, oh God, like crawling out of my skin to get a cigarette or to get that vape. It just wasn't there. Just wasn't there. 
felt instantly like a much lower dependence. So while I have anecdotal evidence that this is a thing, it's nice to see it done in like a, you know, in like a NIH sort of study path study. It's just, it's just good to have that reassured. So I'll post a link to this science down in the description below, along with literally everything else that I talked about. The Jacob Greer article, all of the CASA calls to actions and the such as. But uh, yeah, I think that's going to wrap up the old, uh, I miss anything? I thought I missed something. No, I guess I didn't. Wow, shit. I guess I got it all. So what we're going to do now, you guys, uh... If I can find it, let's see, I saw some coming in while I was talking there. Let's do some uh, super chats. Same for you, Stan. Yeah, totally same experience. And th the majority of the people that I've talked to are the exact same way, exact same way. I mean, I vape at home pretty frequently just because I'm, I, you know, I work from home so I can vape, can't wear it, you know, anywhere I want. And, you know, you vape in the bathroom, you vape in the shower, you vape everywhere. But still, even at home, I find myself sitting on the couch and we watch like a two-hour documentary and I just don't vape the whole time. And it's like credits roll and I'm like, dang, that was a good documentary. Now I'm in a vape. Anyway, let's do some, uh, let's do a couple super chats here, my friends. That's all you, that's it. That's all you got. I don't remember where we left off. There's like 12 from Southern Comfort. Uh, yep. 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 Uh, yep. That's right. Passion fruit dip. Uh, Cali sucks. It's 84 in sunny in Tampa, Florida. Shout out to my totally bitching Republican politicians for keeping stellar vapor open. Shout out to Doug. That is perfectly legitimate. Perfect. 100% legitimate shout out there. Who are we shouting out? Who is it? Matt Gates. Wasn't it Matt Gates down there and uh, Governor Ron DeSantis in Florida? Stellar Vapor is still open. No flavor ban in Florida. Awesome. Awesome. Southern Comfort again. Those R lames probably hang out with Mitt Romney, all traders. Well, here's the thing. It's, you know, it's not. It, here's the thing. There's cruddy people on both sides. There's bad actors everywhere. There's bad actors everywhere. Some of them are in the Republicans. Some of them are on the left with the Democrats. There's bad actors in the libertarian camp. There's just bad actors everywhere. There's people that you go, why did you do, why did you make that decision? Why did you, why did you come to that conclusion? You know what I mean? It's like uh, uh, Senator, uh, Senator Rand Paul, who I generally like, but occasionally you just go, would you just shut the fuck up? Like, you know, what are you talking about? What are you talking about? Why, what are you talking about? 90% of the time I agree with you, 10% of the time I just, I'd like to open up your head and see what's actually going on in your brains. Southern Comfort Grimm, as far as I can see it, it is a partisan issue when it comes down to three Republicans and countless Democrats, agree with me or not, numbers don't lie. Well, it's not three Republicans and countless Democrats. It's just not. It's not three Republicans and, and, and countless Democrats. And that, look, it's, it's, it's become a partisan issue just because of American politics. It should have never been a partisan issue. It should have never been a politicized issue, you know, to begin with, to begin with. Logan exhales. Uh, this is for the audiobook version of Jacob's book, Do It and You're Cool. Oh, all right, there's an audiobook version. I'm down. Or I might just read it in a British accent out loud because that's what I like to do too. <laughs> Hamish. Hamish. Some karma coming real soon. Some say next month, but so what? P.S. Uh, Senate Tobacco Harm Inquiry wants your quit story. Five days left. See Othra. All right, I'll put a link down in the description. Oops. A T H R A dot org. Okay, that's right. Okay, I'm gonna post a link down in the description to Athra, Australian Tobacco Harm Reduction Association. They want your stories. Appreciate that, Hamish. Get that out to as many people as we can. Southern Comfort, that's Doug. Holy shit. That's Doug. I feel like I know him. I feel like I've shouted out Doug so many times, bro. 
<laughs> That's Doug. Live in hints. Uh, oy, ay. All right. Uh, when saging to other points in the world, I have an advantage to share. It's all in the mind how we wish to express ourselves given the best avenue that makes us legal to be happy in the street. Ah, Mick Jagger, David Bowie, fucking legend. Good call. Good call. It's life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness, you know? Uh, Joshua, very gracious of you. Because I... Uh, because I pre-order the truss. Oh, that you know what, Joshua? You don't have to. <laughs> I'm glad you pre-ordered the truss. I hope you dig it. I hope you dig it. Southern Comfort. Doug says, thanks for the virtual tour and the shout out. Hell yeah, dude. I feel, I'm invested now. I'm invested now in Doug and Stellar Vapor because of you, Southern Comfort. Because we've been part of this like Florida flavor ban. We always talk, you know, politics and left and right and and flavor bans and DeSantis did the right thing. He made the right call. And now Stellar Vapor gets to stay open. I feel like I need to like, I feel like I need to go there. I feel like I need to meet Doug now. IRL. Kevin Yum, smiley face to you too. I don't have a smiley face, but I got a thumbs up and a fist bump if that's what you're after, Kevin Yum. Let's, uh... Holy crap, we're running out of time. Why does this always happen? Let's open some mail. Oh, barely. Barely made it back in time. So I got some mail uh, and we're going to open it. I have no idea. There's some, uh, I believe there's some China. I believe there's some... uh, China stuff in here. There's some DHL stuff in here. There's one of these that we're going to save for later. This one just arrived. I have no idea. Where's a knife? Where's a knife? Monterey Park, California Shipping Department. Now, this could either be vape mail or this could just be something that I ordered. I don't remember. I don't remember. Sometimes I just retail therapy. What? Zippo butane fuel. All right, cool. Did I order this? I mean, I have been using my DynaVap and I do need a torch to use my DynaVap. Apparently I ordered Zippo butane fuel. Who knew? Who knew? Well, that's boring. <laughs> that's boring mail. Here, this should be interesting. This is from, uh, this is from old 99 wraps. Oh, sick. He sent coils. That's right. I'm going to have to recheck that DM. Huh. Three wraps, four 29 gauge cores with 36 gauge over it, five 29 gauge cores. What? Two and a half millimeter, five wraps. He said these are going to be really good in the rye RDA. And then four 26 gauge cores with 36 gauge, five wraps on a three millimeter. Very cool, 99 wraps. Thank you. I like your packaging too. <laughs> I'm just kidding. I know that it's, uh, you know. Dang. Okay, cool. I got some coils. I'm excited. Coils is one of those things I'm never going to be bummed about getting. Who doesn't love getting some beautiful handcrafted coils for your uh, rye RDA from directly from 99 Wraps uh, himselves? himself. Let's see what we got from China. That's what I'm interested about. Let's see what we got from China. Hoping this will be something cool. Oh, is this Inakin? Damn it. You know what I'm waiting for from China? Is that Aspire uh, Mix? Wasn't that what it's called? The Aspire Mix? They're like their sidecar guy? That's what I'm waiting for from China. Should be in here. All right. Okay, I already talked about it, and I got a couple more now. It's an Inokin Endura M18. Inokin Endura M18. And extra accessories for the Chroma Z. All right. Chroma Z pod, Endura. Inokin, look, Inokin's been doing some rad shit lately, and even though, I mean, I'm my, my prediction right now is that this M18 
is going to be just the sleeper product for the next year. It vapes so well. It vapes so well that I put down my Cali Burn G almost all week, almost all week long. That's how good this thing vapes. It doesn't stand up on its on its bottom though very well, and that kind of bums me out. But we got some Anakin stuff. Okay, man, I was really hoping that would be. Uh... What is this? I have no idea. Let's just open it. Let's stop speculating. Oh God, this is the bad kind of wrapping. Oh God, this is the bad kind of wrapping. Okay, I'm opening it over the trash can because this is the bad kind of wrapping. Oh, this is the bad kind of wrapping. Wait, what the hell? What the hell? This is an Amazon gift? Jake. <laughs> Jacob Scrapwood. Appreciate that. Got me some new cutters. <laughs> Jake Scrapwood, thank you. Thank you. I've been building a lot of billet box stuff lately and my cutters kind of suck for billet box stuff just because it's so tiny. And these are, uh, you know, flush wire cutters and they're perfect and small for like the little billet box stuff. Snip, snip, snip. All right, sick. Thank you. This is going right in the drawer with all my tools, right, literally right now. I can't wait till Monday. Can't wait for that bill of box build stream on Monday. Oh, this is just a bill. I don't, that's dumb. What say you? What? This is another package from 99 wraps? Oh, holy shit. There's literature. Nick, I hope you enjoy the coils I sent you. The preloaded set is four 29-gauge cores with 38-gauge over it. Uh, Staple fused Clapton, SFC. Is that what that stands for? Staple fused Claptons? I know. I do need it, Jake. I appreciate that, Jake. I this It's something I really, really needed was a good pair of clippers, especially a good pair of clippers that, like, you know, I can use on... Just when you have to snip like on that truss. Dude, these clippers on Monday probably would have saved me like 40 minutes. Probably would have saved me like 40 minutes. Uh, I hope you enjoy the coils I sent you. The set of aliens. Yep. No. Dollar replacement. These are for you. Cloud cap. All the love. Best. Joel. Coils by Mind Dream. Dang, bro. Dang. See, I've been using my rye a lot. And look, I got a stabilized piss rye cap. Who doesn't love a good stabilized piss uh, rye cap right there? I'm just kidding. I like it. Yeah, wait, is this preloaded, this rye 1.2? Okay. Oh, it is. Pre-built and pre-wicked. Well, shit. I know what we're going to do our random liquid tasting on now. Oh, it's going to be this rye 1.2, buddy. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Okay, you go there. You go there. It's precarious. Things are getting precarious, you know. They always, everything always looks real neat and nice from your point of view, but you don't get to see the fucking chaos that happens down here, bro. I'm going to keep this note, too. I'm keeping it. I'm keeping it, damn it, and you can't stop me from keeping it. So, someone knew you. Logan? 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 Logan exhales? Are you in the house? Actually, I know you are. You sent me a super chat because you told me there's an audio book. What'd you send me? Should I be opening this? What's up, Steve Thompson? Welcome to the stream, brother. Should I be opening this right now on camera? Is this you, Logan? Oh, no, this isn't Logan Exhales. This is not Logan Exhales. This, good Lord, how many times have I opened these now on a vlog? <laughs> this is the third. 
and final production version <laughs> of the Robo 2020 coil head cleaner. Beep, boop, 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 boop. Yep, if I finally got the full final version of it, I'll just add it to the collection of Robo 2020 coil head cleaners that I already have. <laughs> There it is. Looks pretty dope. This one has like weirder fit and finish. Am I missing something here? Does it just not fit together? Interesting. All right. I'm sure it still works. It just doesn't fit together the same as the other ones. Usually that gray tab is has a notch to get onto, but doesn't seem like it's going to notch down in there very well. But Got a final Robo Robo 2020 coil head cleaner. I did a review for it. Look, they work, dude. They work. And I want everyone to know, in the interest of open, honest, fairness, zero money has exchanged hands between me and Robo 2020. They hit me up. They said, do you want to help us with this product? I said, yeah, sure. Coil head cleaner? Sure. Send me one and I'll try it out. And so I gave them some feedback. They sent me another one. I did a review for it. And then this is the final product. And that's it. All I've gained is three coil head cleaners. That's it. That's it. And they work pretty well. In fact, he was telling me that they have been testing it out, cleaning their coil heads before they even use it. Before they even use their coil head, like throw a brand new coil head in there and clean it and dry it and then use it. They said it's good. They said it's like a, it's a plus. They said it's good. You should try that out. I said, I probably won't. But hey, you never know. Anyway, dang, man, where's the time go? Where's the time go? There's a couple more super chats I saw. Anyway, that actually represents the end of the mail. That's what I got, and we are definitely using this Rye 1.2. This Rye 1.2 for the very random liquid tasting. Uh, you bet your ass we are. Here's a couple super chats. Let me do this first. All right, where did we leave off? I don't even remember where I left off. Kevin, that's right, Southern Comfort. Partisan or not, we're fighting the good fight. Damn right, partisan or not, we're fighting the good fight, Southern Comfort. We're fighting the right for vapors' rights, for smokers' rights, for every smoker to get to quit smoking the way that we did. Remember how easy it was? Once you got that like right combination of like device and atomizer and juice and it just all finally clicked together and you go, oh yeah, I could do this easy. 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 Uh, Moobish, that's very gracious of you. You didn't say nothing. You didn't have to. There's a fist bump for you. Kevin Young, vlog. Whoa, where'd you get a vlog uh, little emoji? That's cool as shit. Noobesh, Noonesh, Moon, Mood, Mue, Mue, Mue. I don't know what to call you. Can I call you Mue? Keep it cloudy, brother. Much love from the UK. Bro, much love from the United States over to the UK. You know what? You guys are doing it right. You guys are doing it correctly over there. <laughs> correctly over there. I feel, I legitimately feel bad for all of like the United Kingdom, like Martin Dockrell and like the National Health Services and like the Royal College when they all just have to go again. This is way better than smoking, you guys. Again, they have to tell their citizens like, don't listen to the US. Stop listening to the US news. There's no, evol nope. Nope, stop it, stop it. You're a smoker, here, vape this right now. I, I almost demand it, I almost insist that you do it. You guys are doing it right over there, but uh, appreciate you. Got one more here from Bradley. Can I shout out Dwayne? I got a bottle of pink instead of ice pink and he replaced the bottle in the mail the same day. You got, dude, that's just Dwayne. That's just Dwayne. Yeah, we can shout out Dwayne. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch Any the sky. Any time dun, of year. Dun, 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 I believe dun, 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 dun. I can fly. I believe I can fly. I believe I can touch the sky. Any time of year. 
Dun, 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 dun. Got a rye 1.2. Gonna use it to do Google Foo. Okay, that's gonna be for the very random liquid tasting. But what we have to do right effing now is, uh, you guys wanna go through another box? Really? Do ya? Let me hear ya. Woo! I don't know why I did that. Retro vape. says 20 see okay so i was under the impression that i had these stacked chronologically i thought that the first box we pull out would be the most newest most modern stuff and then as we go back it's going to get uh, like older and older and older and older such such is not the case such is not the case at all in fact before we dig into this everybody let's just hydrate a little bit you want to watch kent you want to watch Kent Hydrate? Oh, I love water. I'm glad that I love water so much. It makes it easy to stay hydrated. Hydro homies. Yeah. Stay hydrated. Stay hydrated, hydro homies. Oh, shit, I have to mention my sponsor. You might notice that on this video, it says this is a paid, there's like a paid product something like that this is it this is the, this is this is the i get paid from the coldest water bottle i mean i don't get paid directly from the coldest water bottle it's complicated but they are a sponsor of this vlog you have to stay hydrated i stay as hydrated as i possibly can this is hands down far and away the best water bottle i've ever owned in my life it keeps your water crispy cool and refreshing i would definitely opt for the uh, flip top flip top lid right here and not only that it is the perfect palette for all of your stickers perfect palette for stickers so whew, this box says 2017 mostly so by this point i thought for sure we'd be just straight up into like 2016, maybe going back into 2015, something like that. Such is not the case. This box represents, eh, I like how I label things. 2017, yeah, mostly, yeah, mostly, kinda, right? Like mostly, mostly. In fact, this isn't even in here. This is just the box for the glass. Oh, that's kind of a bummer. So, where am I gonna start stacking all this stuff? A uh, bunch of stuff in here. This is something that I did not like, really, in any capacity. It's a dual 18650 box from Ultroner. I don't even know the name of it. Dual 18650, you know, stab wood and acrylic doors box. It was a deck of cards. This honestly reminds me of like if the Sigili 150 or the 100 had stab wood doors. Yeah, that's what this is. 510 Asmodus. Asmodus, I think, released that. And uh, I know that uh, an advocate for liberty, you were asking if this was a green <laughs> paranormal. Uh, it's not. It is red and black. Red and carbon fiber paranormal. I really liked this device. I was a big fan of the paranormal. I liked it. I thought it looked slick. I had issues with this little wooden piece. I've had that issue with all the wooden pieces on all of my Lost Vape products that kind of coming loose, but otherwise I digged this thing. Digged? Digged, bro. Digged? Come on. Come on, Nick. You digged it? Yeah, you really digged it? This I used forever. This was that, uh, what even was this? Squid? Squid made this? This had a cool uh, light on it. In fact, oh shit. See, things are happening right now that I, I have no control over. It's a 21700. 21700. Single 21700. Come on. Turn on. Okay. 
Uh, oh, positive side goes down. Sorry. There we go. Yeah, Squid Industries. Oh, there's no atomizer. Okay, let me hook up an atomizer to this because it's got cool lights, and I think I might throw my Pioneer on here. I used to rock my... Uh, Oh, that's kind of cool. I used to rock my K-Fun on here. Oh, 14 watts? Yeah, do you see it lights up right there? That's cool. That's kind of cool, man. Lights up like a little ring. I love that. Yeah, I'm going to keep this out. Good evening, living hints. You have a good night, my man. That's cool as shit. I might keep this one out. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. We're gonna keep this out. Keeping that squid guy out. Uh, there's some China stuff in here, this OBS thing. This was kind of a piece of shit. This was kind of a piece of shit. This OBS thing, don't even remember the name of it. I took it to uh, Sweden with me in hopes of shooting a Swedish review of this, but it just kind of happened because, uh, it kind of didn't happen because I hated using it. It was terrible. Same thing goes for this. What was this? Oh, Visigo. <laughs> v Visig, their fantastic piece of plastic. This was a dual 18650. And it was, I mean, look at this logo on the back. Can you see it in the light? Definitely not. Definitely not. It looks a lot like the V God logo. It used a it looked a lot like the V God logo. In fact, the little shield on the button, they were trying to like heavily rip off V God with this and it's all plastic the 100% plastic this green plastic top plastic back bottom plastic plastic I feel like I could just bend like break this in half if I wanted to I mean I totally could break it in half right now I just don't want to you know I just don't uh, I just don't want to oh we got a drag we got an OG is that an OG drag no that's not an OG drag this is the drag I don't know, resin? Was there a drag resin? This has batteries in it? Whoa. Oh, okay, no, this is the drag mini. Okay, no. Why is it showing me two battery cells? I think this had an internal battery. This is the one that had the internal battery? Was there, there was an internal battery drag, was there not? Am I wrong? Yeah, Jay, you had that same OBS. What a what a hunk. What a hunk of junk. Internal battery drag. Oh, good Lord. Remember this thing? Oh, good Lord. Remember this voo-poo thing? Hang on, let me tuck in the ribbons so you get the... Uh... Okay, there was one battery. Okay, so this voo-poo thing, this, the voo-poo 2... This is the worst thing. <laughs> Apart from being hyper ugly, anodized red and like this sea kelp green. And you put, it was a dual 18650, but you put one battery in on this side and the other battery in on this side. And you had these weird like offset doors. And I feel like they did this just because they could, even though it makes kind of no sense having... They're like, we got this cool door design that kind of flops like this. And we can put one battery on this side and one battery on the other. And it can be super fucking ugly. That's what happens, Vupu. That's what happens. Uh, Bigfoot, there's a little foot kit in here. See, here's another drag. Okay. This got to be the drag too. That's got to be the drag too. Got to be the drag too, right? Resin panels, 18650s. That's the drag two. We might be getting to the drag one. <gasps> the Bassium. Oh my God. I have not used or seen the Bassium. This was uh, the uh, Vapen Biker out of the UK. This was his Dovpo Squonker. Squonk bottle went right there. It was just a brick. It was just a cube. Oh, this was a really weird, uh, this was a really weird Squonker. Again, I just, you know, I don't, I don't love squonkers. Oh, it's doing a little light show, man. Is that just like a screensaver for this? It just glows different colors. Hmm. See, now we get to some snow wolf stuff and 
this red V-God 200 watt that I didn't love nearly as much. In fact, I think someone wanted this, one of my patrons or someone wanted this V-God. V-God 200 watt box, it wasn't bad. Look, it wasn't bad, I just didn't, I, I didn't love it, you know. It's one of those like, eh, it's not bad, I just don't, I just don't love it. This Snow Wolf, look, I don't know what we were thinking with these designs. That's a crazy design. Button right here, like weird speaker, shiny vent holes. Snow Wolf, had the Snow Wolf on the back. Yeah, massive brick squonker. <laughs> Snow Wolf stuff, I don't remember this Snow Wolf. Really all, I definitely didn't review this. I definitely did not review that Snow Wolf. But there was that Snow Wolf Mini too. This see this thing was actually kind of dope. Had that <laughs> had that uh, chromed out wolf on the front. Chromed out like you can't tell it, but there's like a little texture to that on the back. See, this would be something for like a K fun. I don't know, maybe not. It's super comfortable though. It's super comfortable to hold. It's got that clicky button. I don't know. Snow Wolf, man. Snow Wolf used to be like. The tits, everybody just X Feng. Holy crap, wired talk with Big G. That this one, right? This was the X Feng. X Feng. That's what they named it. X Feng. Joel, I was just singing the praises of your truss. I dig it. I dig it a lot. I just rewicked it actually today. And I should have taken your advice on the build stream when you said use less cotton. And I was like, no, no, I think I'm fine. You know, I, I, this is fine, Joel. I mean, you designed this. That doesn't mean you know what you're talking about. And I just packed it full of cotton. Don't do that. Less is more. I should have listened to you, but I didn't. And I'm sorry. So, oh, this is kind of a dope mod. This was another Ultroner Stabwood guy, and the only, oh yeah, this door, this battery door sucks butts. Oh, that sucks. Dual 18650, Stabwood, wood, not Stabwood, but, uh, you know, wood around the edge. It was like a C-frame style, kind of a clicky button on the front. This is one of those things that the EOS 2, I didn't love it, I didn't hate it. The reason that I didn't use it very often is because the wood was so dull. Asmodus or Ultroner, whenever they released Stabwood stuff, they never bothered to like polish it at all or use, you know, you can get polishing wax for wood and Stabwood and like not necessarily shine this up, but you can make it look really pretty and like much more rich and shiny. And they just didn't. They're like, nope, here it is, 300 bucks. Take it or leave it. It's got fancy wood on it. That's how I always felt about those mods. We got some mechs in here. There is a uh, Torin mech mod. There is an Atom Vapes UK Sandman. The Sandman mech. That's a single 18650 banger for sure. But it's got that like Stan Tenacious TX Vapes sort of like ergonomic cutout to it right there. I've been trying to keep track of like where all my mechs ended up. Torin. Torin mech mod, that was a pretty good little mech mod. I like that one okay. The Torin, it was copper, it hit nice and hard. Now see, we're getting into some retro stuff. This is a Panzer. This is an original, oh, those threads are so nice. Holy crap. That is some nice threads on this Panzer. This was a mech mod from the Philippines, single 18650, glorious mech. Just a glorious mech all around. Nice, soft, soft little button right there. Damn. If I could get a 21700 Panzer, you know how happy I'd be in my life? I just want a 21700 Panzer, a like a Panzer from the Philippines. That's what I'm after. What's this guy? Oh, yeah. The Vulcan 1. This was not a good mech in any capacity. I used this for about... 24 hours before I went, fuck you, fuck you, fuck you, stupid mech. 
And then I never used it again. They asked me for a review. I said, it's going to get a bad review and I don't want to review it because it's bad. The Vulcan One Mac. Holy crap. Is this? Oh, okay. This is the EA. Okay. Electric Angel. This is the Electric Angel Mech Mod. See, this is old school. This is going all the way back to like 2013. The Evil or the Evil Angel. The <laughs> Evil Angel's porn. The Electric Angel had that like GG style pinky switch right there. Does anybody Was anybody around remember having mech mods like this? I, this is how I always used them too. I'd use my this finger. Boom, right there. I miss these like side fire guys. I miss these side fire guys. They worked well. When I first looked down there, I thought, holy shit, is that an original GG? But it's not. It's the Electric Angel. That was a really good mech. I should try to track down some of my old reviews for some of these. Oh, shit. Well, here's one that is super hyper ugly, but I am never. Oh, I wonder if it still has the juice in it. Hmm. I'm never going to get rid of this. I can never get rid of this. This mod is possibly the single most sentimental mod that exists in my arsenal. And all it is is a big dumb Segeli thing with a round screen. screen. This is the Segeli Shikra. I even left the tank on there. The reason I'll never get rid of this is because this is the vape of all the vapes that I had. <laughs> this is the vape that I used basically my entire wedding weekend. I took this down to San Diego with me. This was it. I was just vaping it and vaping it and vaping it. I had this in my pocket on my wedding day during the reception. I was vaping this. This was my uh, this was my wedding day vape for some reason because I just, I don't know. I just liked it. I just liked it. Round screen. I don't know what it was. I liked it and I can po never, possibly never part with that. Never. This, oh, I thought this was a dot mod, but it's a wake. This is a wake mech. Wake, single 18650, anodized aluminum mech mod. Like I said, I'm trying to keep track of all my mechs. Man, they had good buttons. That is a good button. I did, Lucifer. I licked an old, I licked a mod from an old box. You know what? Look, this has been quarantined with me in my house. It doesn't have COVID-19 all over it, so I feel comfortable licking it. Besides, e-liquid is uh, still tastes good, even when it's old. Uh, what is this? El Thunder mech mod, the Ambassador. Holy crap. The Ambassador mech mod. Look at that. 26650, single 26650 mech mod. These Mods were some of my favorite, just some of my favorites because they had that auto adjusting spring on the inside for your battery rattle. Wasn't constant contact, but damn it, it was brilliant the way they did this. And they're just real nice feeling mechs. This is a 20, this is a 20, I did just lick an old box. Ayo, that's what she said. Ayo. No, you just licked an old box. This goes back to 2014, easily. If you can find this review, the Ambassador review, tell me where it is from because I think it's from 2014. This is definitely a 2016 banger. This exemplifies all of 2016 vaping right here. The Limitless. Anybody remember the Limitless Max? Yep. Got a Limitless with that neon green, like electric green bandana print on there. Firm switch on the bottom, hybrid copper. I bet with some Cape Cod polishing cloths or some Rizzo rags, I could shine that up real nice, that copper right there. This is a pretty banging mech. Again, kind of was Limitless is one of those companies that I wish was still around because I want a 21700 Limitless. <laughs> I just want one. 21700 Limitless. That's a legendary device right there. Oh, yeah. Watofo guy, I don't know. Uninteresting ones, like ones that I think are uninteresting. I'm just kind of like, eh, that's fine. Watofo thing, it was kind of fun for a while. Another drag, another drag too. Another drag too. 
How many drags does one person need? Here is another epically legendary mech mod. What the hell was this thing called? Oh yeah, the Sentinel. <gasps> the Sentinel mech. Holy crap. This was a Philippine mech mod as well. God, their threads were just, like everything about the Philippine mech mods were just beautiful. Every thread, every thread still, even after sitting in this box, every thread is just wonderful. But this was a Sentinel mech mod out of the Philippines. This is from back in the day. This is like 2014, 2015. And, you know, this was one of those like, the, the, these mech mods are like literally the reason why clones exist because they had like 200, 300, 400, 450, $500 asking prices, or you could just go to slow tech and uh, get a clone for like 34.99 hashtag team cheap mod. What is that? Inakin? I used to really like this little Inakin guy. Don't even remember the name of it. Inakin, uh, anybody? Anybody? Bueller? Inakin something. The Inakin box mod. My top side duel. My top side duel that I finally figured out like how to hold it properly so that it was comfortable in the hand. <laughs> I used to think this thing was so uncomfortable, but look at it, dude. It looks ridiculous. That is a ridiculous looking squonk. I don't care. That is, that is ridiculous. This too, it looks like Hulk. It looks like the Hulk, like a Hulk, like the Hulk's dick. It's just big and bulging and everywhere. <sighs> no clothes on anybody. Sickening. We got uh, some H cigar stuff here. Oh, this is my, this is my one and only SX mod and I dislike it. We got an H cigar thing. I don't even remember. SX, the SX uh, something, SX class. I don't know. If Daniel DJ LSB Vapes were here, he would know exactly. Okay, Proton. That's right. Inakin Proton. Wow, you guys are good. Good. Yeah, the top side solo. In fact, the top side single and the, the mechanical top side, I think even the top side light, I think are some of the best squonkers. This is my only SX, but that topside duel, I stand by what I said. That thing is ugly. Ugly. Mystery squonker. Mystery white Delrin squonker. Nope. Anybody ID this? Because I can't. It is a mystery fully white Delrin squonker. No idea. Hey, Mike Vapes. What's up, peeps? Mike Vapes here. That was the Mike Vapes. That was the uh, the fucking uh, thing. Uh, I don't remember. Recurve, recurve squonk, recurve squonk. There is a Proton from Vaporesso, an Armor Pro from Vaporesso. I really liked those a lot. There is this Mysteries 3D printed squonker as well. Eric Vinyl and Vapor sent this. And I don't know where, what its name is or where it's from, but the 3D printing quality on this is insane. That's the plug squonker, Michelle. The 3D printing on this is insane. It's so beautiful. All of it. All of it's beautiful. I love the way this feels. Single 18650 squonker. Now, oh yeah. What the hell even was this? Stars, stars, the stars player. Well, it's white. This is what I vaped when I was in uh, Paris, actually. Put a black twisted messes, got the grim DHD on there. White and black and white and black. I just liked this thing. There's a picture of this on my Instagram if you go back far enough. Like, ooh, with the Eiffel Tower in the background. Holy crap, there's another layer? There's an entire, it's 618, you guys. This is gonna be a two-part box. This is gonna be a two-part box. There's a whole other layer of devices under here. Let's end with this one. This is gonna be a two-part box. I kind of had the feeling, Rick Martin, you kind of need that Armor Pro. Look, 
I should not put it out there, but I am sort of talking to a few people. It's, you know, it's just a lot uh, trading some certain things around. If you had your eye on something like, you know, don't, not necessarily like, oh, hit me up, bro. But, you know, it could, could be a thing. Could be a thing. Why not? Now, here's where we're going to end this. And we're going to pick up next week, continuing the rest of this box because it's a lot. Because I want to get to a liquid tasting because I need to taste some liquid. This is, here's where we're going to end this. This is the single worst, most poorly designed hunk of shit squonker that has ever existed on God's green earth. Flawless released the Tug Life squonker in, got to be 2016. Got to be 2016. Do it all tonight. Do it all tonight. You guys are crazy. That's fine. Keep going. Derek says, that's fine. Keep going. I say no. Finish the box. Oh my gosh. All right. Well, we're going to finish the box. You guys really like running long. Just run long. <laughs> These are just all, all right. Look, I would at least want to tell you, uh, no, we're going to definitely save the rest of the box for next week. We definitely are going to. 100%, 200%, because we're going to leave off with the worst squonker that exists in the history of squonkers. It was a single 18650. First of all, look at the size of this. It's gigantic in my hand. It's huge. Single 18650, squonk bottle right here, fire button right here. Now, let me show you why this is terrible. So it's, it's first of all, it's heavy. It's, it's like, it's steel. It's stainless steel. It's heavy as shit. Door comes off. Look at these internals. It had this four prongs on each side for your battery to slip into. You had this wire connected to the juice bottle tube. And then where do you hook your bottle? Tell me where you hook your bottle on there. You can't. I have never vaped this because you cannot connect your bottle to the squonk mechanism. And your, your bottle sits in like its own little weird tray, like this own little like thing right here. You can't connect this. It's actually physically impossible because of this positive connection right here that comes down here on this tube. And they sent it to me and I went, oh, great. Oh, cool. Oh, oh. So I can't use it. All right. So I can't use it. Can't use it. Can't use it. Just straight up can't use it. It'd be a nice, gigantic single 18650 dripper. Sure. It's huge. It's terrible. And I keep this around. And occasionally, like, I'll go through the, uh, I'll go through these boxes. You know, I used to go through these boxes off camera every once in a while. And every time I got to this, I went, oh, yeah. Look at this piece of shit. Don't, I never saw anyone using this. I never saw it on Instagram. I never saw it on Facebook. Had a potentiometer on the back. So it was kind of, you know, regulated. Redick. Redick, you lust. All right. Done. That's it. You cannot peer pressure me into finishing this box. There is so much more to go. It's almost bonkers. So what we're going to do is we're going to put all this stuff back in here. Yeah. I'm going to layer this all back on top of here. And then next week, I'll pull everything back off of here. And we can continue. We can continue our journey down the uh, down the rabbit hole of old boxes. I think I have, not including the tackle box, I think I have three more boxes that we're going to go through. You got, How disappointed are you guys? You guys are so disappointed. Brenton, nope. You're just going to have to tune in next week here on the Grim Green YouTube channel. You're going to have to, you're going to, it's impossible to slide that wire up, Mark. It's impossible. I've tried. I've tried. I tried hard to vape that thing. Tried hard to vape that thing. Just would not work. Peer pressure. It'll make me popular. I don't want to be popular. <sighs> okay. Well, damn it. Here's what we kept out. Just this, just that squid detonator. 
just that squid detonator. And look, you guys, there's gonna be other boxes coming up that are equally as big that may need to actually be split into like two two parts. May need to, may need to be split into two parts. Hmm. Just, just take a vape break. Let's just take a vape break. What can we watch while we vape? Here you go. Hit that. If you guys are here right now. Look, smash that like button. Just punch your computer for me. Love that guy. Love that guy. Mm. Mm. Just need a vape break. You know, it's been two hours. God damn it. Just need to vape. Okay, so let's, uh, I'm going to do the liquid tasting. I'm going to do the liquid tasting. That's what we're going to do. Should I do the super chats? Let's do the liquid tasting. Let's do, <laughs> I'm so indecisive. Let's do, uh, Vaping is better than smoking. Technically, yes. But so what? <laughs> Okay, uh, pardon me. Uh, that's gross. Burp life. So I need you guys to help me. I need you guys to help me decide which liquid to vape. The tobacco. The tobacco is back. Okay, here. First, we need this. The tobacco is back on the table. So this t caramel tobacco. Okay, caramel tobacco or Eclipse Solar Flare. Oh, tobacco or a mystery liquid called solar flare. There's a 20 second delay. So please vote now and then I'll see your votes in, in 20 in 20 seconds. 24 hour vlog. Yeah. No one help him. <laughs> solar flare or tobacco. Solar flare or tobacco. Solar flare or tobacco. Solar flare or tobacco. Well, someone needs to vote. Okay, solar flare. All right. Wow. We see. Okay. Fuck yeah, tobacco. All right. It feels like solar flare is going to win here. See a few votes for tobacco. Uh, tobacco. I think we're going to go solar flare. Then the box. <laughs> solar flare. Okay. Let's go for solar flare. Appreciate you guys. I appreciate you guys uh, chiming in there. Let's do the solar flare. I know zero about this liquid. Nothing. Nothing about this liquid. Like I said, we're going to be tasting it on this Sigeli Fu Chai that lights up. And I even did a matchy matchy blue drip tip. How cool is that shit? But we've got some framed staples in here from uh, 99 wraps in my rye 1.5. Okay. Okay. I'm getting some uh, fruity component to it. It tastes, it smells a little bit tropical, man. It tastes tropical. It tastes tropical. All right. Well, I know nothing about this. Literally nothing about this, but I'm going to wet these coils. Yeah, you get it. I'm going to wet these wicks. Oh, baby. Take it. Take that liquid. Take that liquid into your cotton. I need to stop. That was kind of gross. Let's see. What, what is the resistance of these? 0.11s. All right. We're going to need a little bit more wattage. <laughs> Luckily, I have a big regulated device. Let's try 85 watts, I guess, right now for a 0.11. That looks good. That feels good. No crackle to these coils. That's kind of crazy. A little bit of crackle, a little bit of crackle. All right. Well, I'm going to, uh, I'm going to, I'm going to, I'm going to have my inaugural toot of the Eclipse Solar Flare. I love going in blind. I'm glad you guys picked the Solar Flare because I love going in completely blind, 100% blind. Who said moist? Love that word. 100 watts, be a man. All right. Fuck you. Challenge on the floor. Here we go. Ah, 100 watts. I don't know if I should be doing this at 100 watts. Okay, I want to prove it to you. 100. 
I can do this. I've been vaping series, bro. Okay, for, for the sake of flavor, I'm gonna turn this down just a little bit, you know. Just gonna turn this down just a little bit. We're gonna, we're gonna go back down to about 85 watts. How about 88.8 watts? 88, there you go, 88.8 watts. Hit that like button if you're here. Uh, I'm gonna sit with this liquid for just a hot second. Feel free to take a bio break, come back, it's whatever. I'm just gonna give you guys some hold music and uh, I'll, I, I promise, I promise I'll be right back. Okay, 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 advocate for liberty, you dick. I'm just kidding, you're not a dick, I love you, bro. <sighs> okay, so here's, I don't I don't know what this is. I, literally, I have no idea, I can't even ballpark it right now. So we're gonna Google it. Here's what, I, I tell you what I think I'm tasting. Something tropical, mango maybe? Solar flare. Hmm. Solar flare. Okay, this is a main vape co. Okay, it, it was throaty. So I thought I had a feeling main vape co stuff is throaty. Let's see. Solar eclipse by main vape co. So let me tell you what I got. Mango, something tropical, something tropical, something mango. I think so. Something tropical, something mango. Uh not even close, Grim Green. Not even close, Grim Green. What the hell? Solar Flare is a chewy strawberry candy. Uh, it's so hot, it's sure to melt in your mouth. I still think I taste mango out of this. I guess it tastes like strawberry. Could be this high wattage that's kind of killing it. I'm gonna turn the wattage down a little bit. I always find I get better flavor with wattage down, lower wattage. How about 73.7 watts, just cause that's where it ended up. Yeah, it tastes like a uh, strawberry, uh, strawberry taffy, like strawberry Laffy Taffy. That's what I would say. Pineapple rind right to the throat, Scott. No, like strawberry, I guess kind of like a strawberry sir, strawberry uh, starburst matching carpet. It's a little bit more uh, taffy-like. It's like strawberry, it reminds me of strawberry Laffy Taffy, honestly. This RDA is the Rye 1.2 with some framed, some framed, uh, framed Claptons in it. God, as soon as I turned down that wattage, it's like the flavor just exploded, just came to life in this wonderful way. Strawberry, 
Strawberry taffy. That's where I'm landed on this. Let me take one more toot. Strawberry taffy. All right. Strawberry taffy at a low wattage. This solar flare is a pretty solid, like creamy strawberry taffy. You know, when you eat a Laffy taffy and it gives you that like weird film in your mouth, you get like a weird film from the snozberries. You get like that weird taffy film taffy. It's, it has that like film flavor to it somehow. I don't know what ingredient that is. Pineapple rind. Yeah, it tastes like a strawberry taffy to me. Strawberry taffy there with the solar flare. Okay, look, fuckers. Here's what I'm going to (laughs) do. Here's what I'm going to do. We're going to do some super chats. I'll finish the box, okay? We'll, We'll skip getting to know Grim Green. I didn't really have a record anyway. So we'll do getting to know Grim Green next week. I'll do some super chats and we'll finish the box. Does that sound okay? Am I cool now? God, do you see how quickly I caved into peer pressure? Is it any is it any wonder why I started smoking in seventh grade? Because the cool kids were like, hey, you want to smoke cigarettes? And I was like, yeah, duh. Smoke all the time. Smoke, smoke up. I forgot my pack at home, you know. Peer pressure. It's a hell of a thing. Peer pressure is a hell of a thing. Super chats, that's all you get. Where did I leave off? Don't even remember. Uh, that's right. Uh, Bradley wanted to shout out Dwayne. Uh, I am delirium says I am also the grim green. Are you, did I steal this name from you? Delirium tonic. I, I, for some reason, I doubt that Southern comfort. You're invited IRL. Make sure I'm there. Look, Southern comfort. After we get this, uh, you know, (laughs) COVID under control, which Right. Public health should be a politicized issue. I'll, I'll go. I'll be there. I need to go to Stellar Vapor in Lutz, Florida and meet this meet this Doug. Part-time Vapor. Drag 2 is rounded off with off-center 510. What? Oh, with off-center 510 is a flat box with 510 on the side. The internal battery one is the smaller Drag 2. That's right. You're right, Part-time Vapor. You're right. You're right. You Oh, we just want to do all the boxes tonight, Scott? Is that what you're telling me? You're telling me you want to do all the box five hour stream, five hour vlog. Sorry, case can't hang out tonight. I'm busy. You can't leave us hanging. Do it in your cool Zach. See, I know I'm given into peer pressure. Uh, just to make you say eggs, eggs, <laughs> Thomas Crow. I miss you, Thomas Crow. I hope you're doing good, man. Southern comfort. I get amazing flavor with series and high wattage. Look, you know, it depends on the liquid and it depends on your build. It depends on a lot of stuff. It depends on the RDA. It depends on the coil. It depends on the build. It depends on the the liquid. With butter number two in this series stacked, I get great flavor. Great flavor. Great flavor. On this rye, with it cranked up, Full open airflow, I just I do not get good flavor. I get negative flavor. Open up all the way, Rye. I get better flavor at seven like 73 watts. Yeah, I get I get better flavor at lower wattage, but you know, it's it's to each their own. Matthew, uh, you make vaping better for all. Oh, Matthew. Thank you, bro. I'm just trying to do my best. You know, man, I've just, been, I've been in this so long. I just want the vape world to be a great place and I'm trying to do my best. I just want to do right. You know, I want to do right by the vape community. Uh, uh, what do we had? Kevin chocolate here. That weird film flavor is ginger oils. Holy shit. You could be onto something. Kevin chocolate, Derek Rhodes. Yes. Finish the box. Okay. Peer pressure. I work in four hours and need to sleep. Call me Moo. All right, Moo. Sleep up. Sleep well, Moo. Go to work. Good Lord. You have to go to work in four hours and you're sitting here on a grim green stream? Like sleep. Sleep. Please. Please sleep. Uh, Southern, after this, I'm going to talk trash to Fagan on the vape team. (laughs) Don't 
do that. Don't do that. Come on, don't do that. Don't talk trash to Fagan on the vape team. Please don't do that. Look, I'm not the boss of you. It's a free country. You can go do what you want. I would, I would just don't talk trash to Fagan. Mike, yes, absolutely. Talk trash to Mike. Talk trash to Brian. Don't talk, don't talk trash to Fagan. SBK, uh, for the box, I love you, man, uh, and all you and all you do, and everyone in chat. SBK, SBK is just full of love right now. Full of love right now. All right. Well, it's six forty. We're ten minutes past the deadline, but. As as Governor Cuomo says, so what? Let's get the box back out. Right, you peer pressure sons of bitches. Gonna make me get all this stuff out. Getting, I'm just gonna murmur under my breath the whole time I'm doing this. You goddamn jerks making me work even more get to the bottom of this box i'm gonna have to take out all these mech mods again you want to see everything again that i already took out take all these out take that out now now see now nobody's getting anything you, you peer pressured me into this sorry that <laughs> that armor pro it's not on the table anymore because you made me go through the fucking box again take these out again take all this out again look i guess i kind of did this to myself right Let's take you out. Let's take all you all you fuckers out. You come out. You go there. You go there. I'm running out of space on my desk. You go there. Ultroner. Yeah, the Shiksa. You go there. This and here. The Bassium. Okay. Okay. Are you happy now, Derek? Are you happy now? <laughs> Are you happy now, Derek? Layer two. Oh, see, you're in for a treat. There's some cool shit in here. There's some uh, there's some less than cool shit in here too, but there is some cool shit in here. I'll save that for last. Uh, this doesn't even have any batteries in it. This is another uh, CKS box that we had last week. This is the other one. This is the other graphics they did on it. I liked these except they were fantastic pieces of plastic. I did like those. We got a Rainbow Rinco Manto. Anybody remember the Rinco Manto? This came out along with like those other Vaporesso ones when everyone wanted that like clean, slick, just look big looking screen type of vapes. That was the big trend in China. Now they just copy each other. Oh, this one's gross and dirty. Should I lick it? No, I'm not going to lick it, you psychopath. This was the USV. Oh, yeah, the USV Mach 1 Squonker. USV Mach 1 Squonker. If you go back and watch this review, this is when I was riddle, really like fiddling around with my format and like what I wanted to do. Didn't turn out very good, but it had a square bottle on the inside. It was this really trippy like square bottle on the inside. It's just really weird. Really weird Squonker. Um, let's see, there's a little Chroma A in there. There's this Squonker. Again, Tug Life just... Man, flawless, flawless used to be flawless and tugboat back in the day. I didn't lick it, shedding shadow. Flawless and tugboat back in the day used to be like bragging rights. You know, I loved tugboats. They were just the coolest fucking atomizers and I loved them and I love flawless. And then, man, they just got off track. They did this mechanical squonker, which look from the outside doesn't look too bad. Kind of got a little stab wood door there. And then when you open it, it's clearly just an aluminum box. And it's just, it looks so haphazard on the inside. It's these big bent copper contacts. And that copper contact touches that copper contact. And it literally looks like there was probably just some dude in a garage just bending copper pieces into L shapes. And like, yep, bend, yep, bend. Nothing like it's mechanical, but they have it in like the worst way possible. Having a, a big flat contact hit another big flat contact, terrible voltage drop on this, terrible misfires on this because unless that contact hits perfectly flat and evenly across the whole distance of it, it's not going to fire correctly. H cigar, don't even know. Again, here's another Asmodus. This was the pumper. Remember the pumper? 
Same thing, Asmodus Pumper Squonker. They did it in stab wood, but then just kind of just like, ugh, it's just dull. It's just kind of dull, boring stab wood. Yeah, real bare bones there, Scott. This was the pumper, though. This was actually kind of a cool, uh, this was kind of a cool squonker. The pampa. Uh, we got two squids. We have my original stainless matte finish uh, double barrel. And then we had this thing as well that I don't even remember what it was called. What did squid call this? <laughs> the cruddiest door on earth? What was this? The bigger squid. I don't remember what the big squid was called. Anybody remember what the big squid was called? That it, oh, is that the spruza? Is that the spruza or the pumper? You could be right. That could be the spruza. No, it's a matte finish on purpose. I feel like that's a cop out because you can make stabilized wood and acrylic look much better than this. You can make it look much better than this, especially with the shiny like brass accents on here. I just felt like I was a little bit let down with their uh, with their stabilized woodness. Uh, this is still in a box. That's how often I've used this. Oh, holy shit. Where did you come from? This has got to be... Uh, I don't know where this came from. This is the single craziest mech of all time. And I never used it. Where do you get a load of this? Look at this thing. Look, would you just look at that? It's like fucking King Triton or something. No, it's like a samurai. It's like a samurai. Is that the uh, Fujin? Is that the God of Wind there? It's not really. It's This is craziness. It's so crazy uncomfortable to hold as a mech mod. Well, I mean, it looks cool. But it's not something I would ever like use regularly. That's a trip. Did Bogan review this thing? That is crazy. That is a crazy ass mech mod. That is a crazy ass mech mod. Ciro, cheers from Saudi Arabia. Bro, I have been listening. I've been getting into Saudi metal. <laughs> Spotify has a Saudi metal playlist that I love. I've really been getting into it. Oh, you still have batteries in it? Oh, shit. Yep. Look at that. Two perfectly good uh, Sony VTC5 18650 batteries were in this. Well, we got another set of batteries. They're probably still fucking brand new. So this was uh, Paraxis Vapes. Paraxis Vapors. Couldn't recall the name of this, but I lived and died for this. I loved this thing. Clicky little button, that's it. Little display on the outside, that's it. If you wanted to adjust anything, you had to pop open the battery compartment and your adjustment buttons were like here on the inside. There's that Praxis Vapors logo. Man, Praxis used to be such a state, and it's got like rubberized finish. They used to be such like a staple Every vape show I went to, Praxis was there in force with liquids and devices and and sub tanks and and you know mods and huge banners and huge displays and now no no more Praxis. They just whatever. Make your money and run. I get it. It's cool. It's cool. Oh, this is a cool squonker. And the Aries Squonker, I think this was made out of like, uh, not it's plastic. I mean, it's it's all plastic, but pew, look at that Stormtrooper on the back. This was one of those like I used it kind of, but didn't really want to use it because I just didn't really want to use it. And it's basically the same thing as that like Tug Life. Like you can see this is just bent metal. That's what makes up the contacts on the inside. It's just a bent piece of metal. You slide it in here. You slide your battery in. Felt very uh, like, hi, this could be a kind of a dangerous thing. Oh, my Descendant with no button on it. A very, very tarnished rig mod Descendant with no button on it. No button on it. 
This evoke, God, I used to love this. I took this with me to Sweden because I liked it so much. Dual parallel, unregulated. You could swap out the middle portion to be a bunch of different colors. This was the evoke dual 18650 shiny ultim like slightly clicky button right there this was a that was a banger this was a banger of a mod uh this thing in here as well yeah this was the geek vape was this geek vape the nova box wasn't that geek vape was it the geek vape that did this nova box they even put uh grim green on it that's kind of cool that's kind of cool man I know I do need to make a Stormtrooper mod shelf and just get out everything I have with a Stormtrooper on it. That's kind of cool. Uh, what else is in here? There's only a few more things, honestly. Uh, the Luna. No, the Lunar. Lunar Mech. Go back and watch this review. Uh, the Lunar Mech. This is firmly in 2013. Firmly in 2013. It was the first mech mod I'd ever seen that kind of had that like swoop to it. Kind of had that tapered sort of swoop to it. Not a bad little button on there. Now, this, this is some Hemo nonsense. This is the vicious. <coughs> that was gross. Look, I'll be the first to admit that that was gross. This is going on way long stream. The vicious ant vanguard. Squonker, the Vicious Ant Vanguard Squonker. This is supposed to be magnetic. Yeah, there you go. Oh, there's still liquid in there. Good job, Grim Green. Let's leave liquid in all your squonkers. That's fine. Magnetic front enclosure, single 18650, clicky button on the back. Vicious Ant Vanguard. Uh, what's left? Okay, so these two things. Here's the finale. Here we go. This is... The J Max 21700 Mech Mod from TVL. Man, TVL has just nice, buttery, smooth threads. But there's a reason I never used this Mech Mod. And I think when you'll see it, you go, oh, I wouldn't use that either. Look, it's got all of these, uh, it's fully brass. I wish they had just left it without all of those, like, you know, what look like disease ridden bumps all over it. <laughs> that is ridiculous. That is ridiculous looking. And I know, and I never really used it. It was a 21700, but I just, I can't stand the way this feels in my hand, but those TVL threads are like beautiful butter still. It's like warmed butter. That's how smooth these fucking threads are. They're amazing. All right. All right. All right. And then lastly, this is the one. This is the one. <laughs> yeah, this is this is the Vapor Giant. This is probably my most viewed video on YouTube and I hate that because it's the worst video I ever recorded. But this is the original stacked 26650 mechanical Vapor Giant. It came with an even gianter like restricted lung like k-fun style tank for the top and the thing about vapor giant is their mods were the dopest shit ever and then their tanks were like just awful just terrible like why would you ever vape these tanks they're so terrible but the vapor giant it still lives it still lives and breathes it still lives and breathes my man okay so that is officially it there's, oh no, there's one last tiny little thing. On the other end of the spectrum, this was the, what? The deuce, the deuce mech, deuce mods. Holy shit, this is like, this is like 2013 stuff in here. This was a telescope, a double telescoping mod that you could telescope down, all the way down, both sides, and you could run a little 16340 or like an 18350 battery in here. Here, let me get it all the way down. Tiny, tiny little mech, little button right there, but you started unscrewing this and it telescoped out. And then this side 
telescoped out and you could end up getting it to be big enough to fit a single 18650 on the inside. That was kind of a cool little innovative mech too. I remember using this. I definitely remember using this. Wow, what a trip. Just on the complete opposite end of the spectrum of that vapor giant. It's like, oh, here's the biggest fucking mech mod that exists on God's green earth. And then here's the tiniest. You want the tiniest? You want the tiniest? You got it. Um, I saw a few super chats that I'm going to try to speak through while we're ending the vlog here because it's literally almost seven o'clock. Uh, Daniel, two trips, box love. Okay, matching carpet. She's not really a wrestler, but you ought to see her box. Whoa, bro. Whoa. Southern Comfort, bring back Jess's beautiful angel face on the intro. Look. Okay, maybe. I mean, I don't know. I didn't remove her on purpose. I wasn't like, definitely got to get rid of that. I just wanted to update my intro and have it be more current. Like, I, I love I love those, the, you know, those ladies of that's what she said. I love them. Let's put this in here. Let's put this in here. Let's repack up this box. So, hey, you never know. Maybe Jess's face will come back. Uh, matching carpet, random liquid taste, the old squonk liquid. All right. Let's well, see. Now you're speaking my language. I'm going to just squeeze some up through the 510 and try to get some on my finger. Oh, oh, oh. Bottoms up. Oh, I know exactly what liquid that is. It's a, uh, I can't remember the name of it, but it tasted exactly like uh, Lucky Charms. Lucky Charms, marshmallows and all. I wish I could remember the name of that liquid. Holy shit. But it was really, really good. It tasted uh, exactly like Lucky Charms. Almost exactly like the cereal, the marshmallow, the creamy milk, all delicious. Now here, see, now I gotta put all this back in here. Armor Pro, sorry, you're gone. You're not getting traded anymore because peer pressure. I'm just kidding. I'm not some like vape dragon. I don't wanna just collect mods and then sit on them. I'm not Jeff Bezos. Oh, you gotta go back. That's all of it. Okay, now, that's it you guys. We're done. We made it to the end. Uh, we ran long, ran a little long. You know what? That's just, that's just how we roll over here on the Grim Green YouTube channel. But, uh, I really do appreciate you guys coming out. This was a really fun night. Thank you for peer pressuring me into finishing the box. You know, I was going to like, well, oh, it's gotta be two parts. You know, I don't want it to run long. And then you guys are just like, fuck it, run long. So I ran long for everybody that was like X1, 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 do the box, do the box. You better be liking this button. You better be liking this, this video and putting a like on that button. Just press it, smash it. I'm not joking. Smash that like button, smash it hard. Appreciate you guys being here. Uh, I always say this, but uh, everybody that makes it to the end of these vlog videos, you're literally my favorite people on earth. And if I ever get the chance to meet you in real life, I do dispense crisp high fives. We could also maybe go in for a hug post COVID, maybe some elbow bumps. It's all good, but we're going to go ahead and wrap this up. You guys remember that no matter what anybody tell, I appreciate you being here. First of all, that's just what I want to say. And remember, no matter what anybody tells you, thank you, Paulo. Thank you, Futhless. No matter what anybody tells you, Vaping is at least 95% less harmful than burning those deadly combustible tobacco cigarettes. So no matter what side of the aisle you're on, you got to fight for what's right. Keep on vaping. Uh, be excellent to each other, you guys. And peace. Oh, never mind. Peace. <laughs> Oh, oh, there it goes. Oh, okay. Oh, got it. Caught up.